Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? What's up? How you how everybody doing? Thank you for stopping by and joining us on another WBG Xbox podcast. This is episode 216. 260. Hey, Paul, you're talking about new intro. No, that's the intro we've been having for like what two, three months now. Thanks for being here early to see the intro. That's not new, but new to you. Thank you guys for stopping by. We got a couple of things to talk about. Ah, oh, man. What do you think about the Fallout show, guys? We're going to talk about that. Not just the show, because I don't want to dwell too much on the show, but I just want to talk about how the show has boost, boosted the numbers of the game. All on Steam, all everywhere. We'll talk about that. We're definitely going to talk about how these PS5 third-party exclusives have been flopping all over the place, with the exception of Hell Divers 2, of course. But all of the other ones are flopping their asses off. Remember what they told us? Bangers. Xbox doesn't have any games to make. We got bangers. We're definitely going to talk about that. <laughs> People still can't uh, accept that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth might not be doing as well as they expected. All right. We got some old stuff. We got Do You Give a Shit Gaming News later in the show. We, of course, have POS of the Week. And we, of course, have the homie from the UK. What's up, Sean? What's up with you, man? What's going on, killer? What's good, player? Uh, nothing much, man. Nothing much. Seeing us, uh, some people in the chat talking about Marlin Game. And, yeah, he, his, his Twitter, I mean, not his Twitter, his YouTube got hacked, man. Listen, that is not funny at all, bro. That guy put in a lot of work. I hope he gets his channel back seriously. I've seen uh, some more recent video. I remember um, for Tanga, I don't know if it was last year, that happened to him. But he had got his channel back pretty quick. So, yeah. Um, yeah, man, watch these links. I remember both guys I saw, they got their channel hacked recently. They were they, they pressed on some link. And like once you press the link, something happened. They were able to get information. So, watch out. Be careful out there, y'all. Be careful. Yeah. What was up with you, Sean? Yeah, I'm I'm okay, bro. It's just been a busy day, and uh, for sure, man. You mentioned in the DMs that he got hacked, and just gotta be careful, man. You put all all of that work in, and you know, someone to come and mess up, and you could lose your channel completely. It's uh, it's definitely a big hit, bro. So hopefully, he gets that back, regardless if it's a pony or whatever it is. Hopefully, he gets it back and carry on do, do, doing some dumb shit, so we can record and do some videos and. <laughs> To make fun of it, but overall, hopefully, he gets the channel back. But there is WBG, we got some good stuff to talk about. The homies in the chat are pumped, they want to talk that shit. So let's go, playboy. Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, Joy, what's up with you, man? Sorry, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm playing uh, Bellatro right now. It's a roguelike card game, it's an indie game. It's really good. Hey, Ooh. man, where's your um E Honda shirt at that you had on last week? Uh, I can get it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I like that e that e Honda from Street Fighter movie shirt, man. Hold on, hold on, give, give me a shirt. Yeah, give me two, on, give me give me two minutes. Right, yeah, man, put on. it on, man. I like that shirt, man. The Max Payne three shirt. What's up with you, Dev? Not much, not much. Another Monday, I'm back. Dirt. All Dirt. right, let's go, let's go, shit. man. Let's go. <laughs> Let me get these super chats before we continue. The homie Adidas twenty zero to ten. Ponies, where are the PlayStation software numbers? Your highest engagement numbers are on Twitter. X. Yep. We're going to get into that, man. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to have a lot of fun because, like I always say, most of the venom we spit is towards these PlayStation fanboys. And no offense to the game developers, but some of these games have been flopping for the almighty PlayStation third-party bangers that, that the Ponies was hyping up so much. When this 79 with the five, shout out to the best podcast around, WBG, to Dirk's wife, fiance, and Ray Ray, a.k.a. Ant-Man. How dare you? <laughs> and so me and Ray Ray. I'm, I'm <laughs> My wife don't have no fiance. I'm her everything, you piece of shit. <laughs> KO3, Black Truth with the five. What's good, Dut? It's been a minute since I caught WBG live. Just saying what's up. Hope you all are well. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Shout out to you, Playboy, man. No, love you know, it, love it. A lot Thank of guys you. that uh, the catch the show after the show. 
Mm-hmm. And we don't get a chance because some of the names you might not be familiar with. And it's nice to see when they do get an opportunity or a chance. It's nice to see they pop up in the comment section and showing the support. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, guys. John T. David 10. Amazon Prime app is garbage. When I watch something, I get sound effects, but no voice. And it's only the app. We better see Gear 6, State of the K3, and Call, uh, Call of Duty Gulf War on June 9th. I think we will see those mm. games. But sorry about your Amazon app uh, issues. I don't have any issues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Panic is boss member for 11 months after watching the Fallout show. I'm hyped to finally play Fallout for the first time ever, starting with three. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. I played the games, I didn't like it. I liked how three started off. Once I got into like the uh, the, the world, I, I kind of lost interest. Same thing with four, but watching this show makes me want to go back to it. And apparently, we're not the only ones that's talking about that. We'll get into that shortly. Xavier Javier, member for five months. Congrats on winning the Raw Tag Team Championship with the Miz, Dirt Truth. You know what? That's come on, man. That's <laughs> come on, man. Don't start it. <laughs> Call me no damn Dirt Truth. Why King Branch with the five? Uh, just want to remind everybody that Tim Dog is a slug and looks like a job of the hut reject twerk boy. Oh, damn, damn. He's been quiet. He's been. I haven't seen him tweet in a while. I, hey, Sean, what did we talk about that before the show? I was like, because I got Tim muted now. I was like, what is he saying nah, now? Around, bro. Don't do about it. Yeah, he's check him. he's. I'm um, check him again this week. He's he's been retweeting positive Xbox stuff, but also uh, he's kind of like saying the concert war was stupid now. You know, he had to change of heart, man. You know, it's they're gonna shirt Joey. The shirt is back, y'all. Mm, That's the uniform. That's your uniform for WBG now, you piece of trash. All right, got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's your uniform now, I feel tropical with this. I need to get yeah. this one. I'm not helpful. What's up, J-Rock? How you doing, brother? Good to see you What's here, man. Play, boy? <laughs> oh, come on, man. I uh, could be an NPC on, like, a Dragon 8. <laughs> Rock with the fire. I didn't like Fallout until I played it on PC and modded it to hell. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give another shot, man, because I said I didn't care for it before. Um, but yeah, this this is the <laughs> this show is making like making a brother really want to just dive in because I'm about to finish Wild West, which I've been playing. I was playing before it it was in the Game Pass, but now nah, it just made me want to finish it. Um, I'm definitely going to go into something else. Well, anyway, that's it, y'all. Let's go ahead and get the show started. Thank you guys. You know, oh, man, Jay, man, Jay Rock can come on the show anytime he's open, man. Now he's available. You know, he's you always know welcome, bro. There. I'm gonna start buying like these kind of Hawaiian shirts from now on. Bring, <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, Victor. The, the game's called Evil West. It's in um, it's in Game Pass. They put it in Game Pass a couple weeks ago. It was actually pretty decent. You said Wild West. This is about a, this is a solid seven. Solid you said, seven. Wi- you said Wild West. That's what you said. Yeah, you I said, said Wild Evil West. West, didn't I? No, you said, no, you said Wild West. West. Well, I mean. mess, what I meant met Evil West. You POSs. I uh, know what I meant. P-O-S. <laughs> you might as well <laughs> deal with yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and talk that shit. I'm Fall not out. playing right, solitaire, listen. people. I'm not playing solitaire. <laughs> it's it what it looks like. like. No, it does. It does, but it's it's not solitaire. Really. It's Texas listen. Hold'em. We got it. Listen, it has sex. It has poker rules, but it's not that. I got your poker rules right here, huh? Okay. Yo, check this out. Oh. Last night, I said I should try to watch at least the first episode of Fallout before WBG. And I'm glad wait, I wait. did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. None of you have finished the show? No. 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 I finished I finished it in less than two days. Like I watched well, six well, in well, one city, doing? and then I watched because the gate the show is that freaking crazy. it is. I I've watched the first episode and it was my bedtime, so I had to go to bed. Uh <laughs> <laughs> bro, that first episode was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. That show, the first episode was fire. But the reason we're talking about it, like, I, listen, I'm transparent. I can only be real with you guys. If this game was still a multi plat, if Bethesda was not owned by Microsoft, I would not be talking about this shit for real. I really wouldn't. <laughs> but since Bethesda is owned by Microsoft, meaning Fallout is now a first party IP, yes, I'm talking about it. And it matters. See, you understand how that transparency, tell the truth. You don't have to hide it. That's why we're talking about it, damn it. But look, this game has caused 
uh, Fallout franchise on Steam to absolutely blow up. Um, let me see. Let me see. Do I might I might need Sean to pull it up. Is that big enough? Nah, shit, bro. Yeah, man. Can you pull it up for me, Sean, and, yeah. and, and zoom oh, in for me? Oh my god. Oh damn, pause. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> double the pause. God damn. Don't did it. Don't did it. <laughs> hey yo, Chio Chio Walker said after the first episode, he was like F bedtime. Listen, I'm telling you, bro. I just like I gotta get to bed. Oh god. But, yeah, before I pull this up, get the super chest player. Yeah, I was like, man, that first episode was fire. John TJ the five. I wonder how piece of face Dreamcast guy is going to react to the June <laughs> showcase. He's gonna say, <coughs> well, the well, the showcase was good, but there was something a little off. Swats, he's gonna make up something. Definitely. Zero S. <coughs> What's that? What did I say? I don't know. Zero S with the five. Uh, hold on. Uniesta. Ah, uh, yes, WBG with new content and fresh pony salt. I wish I had popcorn right now. Hey, man, go get you some microwave popcorn, man. Mm. Yeah, microwave popcorn, man. Enjoy the show. Squiggly, thank you, bro, with the five pounds. If the Fallout 3 remaster is real, this is the year to drop it. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, bro. Thank interesting. you very much. Now, talking about Fallout, I think they, they wanted to talk about this and what's going on with the show and what's been happening. A lot of people... Know what's up? Fallout uh, TV show is on Prime, and it's doing great, great reviews. Rotten Tom uh, Tomatoes, IMDb. Everybody's talking about it. That quality is right up there. And listen to me, that's a Nolan. Never ever bet against a Nolan brother. That's what it is. But Chris Nolan, Jonathan Nol Nolan's out here doing great. Look, there, I'm not sure if you ever seen like what Jonathan Nolan does when it comes to that like, TV shows as well. He's done a lot of TV shows on top of that high quality. If it's person of interest, uh, that, uh, the Wild West one, the West, some to West World as well. He's always done a great job. And to see what he's doing with this show, he directed the first episode as well. It's killing it and it's showing off right now. It's telling you that, you know what? People that may not like the game or like all of a sudden got interest. And that's amazing to see this. So what you got for this Playboy? All right. Um. So as you guys see, uh, <laughs> Fallout Four, Fallout Seventy Six, Fallout Four Game of the Year Edition. All of these games since since the TV show has the numbers has just shot. It's like Fallout Four is now number one on Steam. Is that right, Sean? Or is it number four? Number four is showing. Oh, okay. So what's it's number one? Fourth place. Oh, it's the fourth place. But still. This game has been out since what 2017, 2018? Like when that game come out? That game came out in 20. I don't I mean, know. It was a while ago. It was a while, a while ago. ago but it, okay, let's put it this way. It was before Game Pass existed. So it was, was uh, I think it was right. 2016, 2015. Well, anyway, as you see, it's now number four. The game uh, is absolutely 2015, like, yeah. 2015. Wow. Like, see, Fallout 76, you see Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. Go uh, scroll down a little bit for me, Sean. There we go, yeah. Um, Fallout Franchise Bundle, Fallout New Vegas. People are interested There's in the more game. Down, uh, Fallout 3 is one down there, there, too. there Fallout 3, oh, my God. So, as you guys see... Um, Keep on scrolling and see if the original Fallout's are there, the, too. That's the furthest are, is going. That's the furthest, that's the furthest is going. Oh, oh, as you guys see... Okay. The TV show has has caused interest, has, has spiked interest into the games. And this has happened with some other TV shows, right? Uh, I believe that Cyberpunk 2077 show on Netflix. What was it called? Uh, Cyber Runners or something? Uh, like that? that was uh, Blade Runners. It also did Blade Runners. For the game. Ed, yeah, Ed, that Ed caused Runners. a big spike. That caused a big spike. Of course, The Last of Us caused a big spike. So listen, man, we're seeing so many video game related TV shows that is causing spikes in, in the sales of the games, if it's done right, right? So listen, man, what do y'all think about this? And I'll tell you, that first episode was fire. I'm going to finish watching the, the whole show this week. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, just I was let, watching like, woo. <laughs> just let me know if my levels is better, bro, now. Let me know. What's wrong? What seems low? a bit low on nighttime. That's what it is. Let's yeah, say my yeah. level's a bit low. The rest are low. But it should be okay right now. I would say this. I got I got to watch the first. I'm one and a half episodes. And I didn't get a chance to watch the rest. Joey of it. is frozen, honey. Yeah, Joey is frozen. frozen. Was it just me? 
No, he is frozen. Yeah. yeah. I would say this, starting with the first 10 minutes, the setting, the setup, the characters, just where it was, like, based what, like, 50s, maybe? It looked like 40s, 50s, 60 settings there. Yeah. At the start of it. The way, the way they were showing, that sound good now? Yeah. The way they were showing off as well, and listen, I think the way they set it up, intense, like, I remember watching the first episode, within, like, the first 7 to 10 minutes, boom, it gets straight to the point. And it shows you the high quality, the the characters as well, and see where this uh, game is like. Listen, I've not I've not played the games, so I'm not gonna get into the oh they did this, the oh they did that with the detail, the vault, the guns, and all that stuff. But from what I've been hearing as well on Twitter as well, and people saying you know what they did a really really good job when it comes to being faithful to the actual game, the source material, mm-hmm. and I've no doubt. First of all, I would say this, regardless if this is a game or not, based on the game, the main thing is, is, is about being a quality TV show. And that's what it does. Forget about quality. the game. Quality, high production TV show with great actors and a great setup for the first episode. That's why a lot of people were hooked from the first episode. Them three characters, as time goes on, obviously they all meet up as well. But the build-up, trying to set up set up them characters, I felt like they did a perfect job with the, the first two episodes. Wow, you. And, yeah, wow, you playboy. <laughs> wow, you. And I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, honestly, because it's a quality TV show. And then on top of that, if you do what the, what people love from the games, it's going to be even better for them type of uh, for them type of fans that love the games and to put down to the big screen. It's awesome to see this play, but I no doubt, no wonder, it's got, no wonder it's like season two got uh, greenlit straight away. Yep, yeah, yeah, because they, they actually greenlit it before the damn season started, right? Do you know? Do you remember when damn. they were saying, "Wow, they're dropping this like all of a sudden, like eight, eight to ten episodes straight away"? Right. Uh, people mm-hmm. said, "Oh, I think the show's gonna flop on that." Did they like normally when it comes to like Reacher, the boys, the weekly episodes? But this one. This could have been a weekly episode as well, if they, if that's the level it's on. But mm, I, I wonder with season two, I reckon they're gonna do that. They'll do yeah. weekly episodes probably. Yeah, man. So it's um good stuff, man. You know, like to see a game. I, like I just love to see all these video games turn into movies or TV shows. That you know, I'm a fan of it. You know, I, I'm a big time fan of it. Uh, let me get the super. Hey, man, it's a background noise from somebody. That'd be all. Uh, that would be. Uh, is that you, Joy? Sure, yeah. Might be uh, me. Why can't you brands remember for five months? If you tell Dreamcast got to sip some water and hold it when he flip upside down, the water will pour out of his face. What? Oh, come on, man. That's that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice, bro. <laughs> Capital Dream with the 20. Hey, sign of blackness and peasant of Persia. Oh, come on, man. That's oh, come no, on, man, Playboy. Start off with today. the first sentence. Yeah, these ponies will shit. never beat a simple demo for hella buns. <laughs> They keep dropping the controller to beat. Oh, come on, oh, man. Come on. Oh, come on, Playboy. Come on, Playboy. In fact, that's the only thing that they can beat. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> Is that Mandingo? Tell me if that's No, Mandingo. no, 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 no. That's Capital Dream. That's Capital I just want to make sure he hasn't changed his name because that's some nah. Mandingo shit that is. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike with the five. Seeing the Fallout show get a lot of passes for things people kill Halo for. Really? I mean, you know, people still bash Halo. Some people like season two. Some people said it's still trash. But you know, look at Halo is trash, and I'm gonna die for that. Yeah, see, like Joey, see, uh, Time Maker Man the Five. I haven't seen the Fallout show yet, but the trailer did make me check out Fallout Three again on Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, all of my Xbox Game Pass. So they're there. Brooklyn twenty seven hundred with the five. Talk to your boy Attic. Anytime a good show comes out, he shits on Halo. Let's let it go, bro. <laughs> 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 Did he shit on Halo? I didn't even hear it. You know, uh, um, the, before I let the rest of the boys go, uh, yourself as well, there, this is what I'm trying to say. First of all, I always talked about this, and we talked about this with the Halo show as well. I know when, when it comes to the source material, when people watch TV uh, movies and that, some people don't know what day is. Just like The Last of Us, or there's a video game out there. I don't know there's a game out there. It's based on right. the game. Same with the Fallout TV series. Do you want? Do you need to play the games? No, it's a fucking quality TV show. Right now, if you play the games, that's gonna be a bonus because when you see these little props here and there, little uh, 
like signs of like yo this is in the game they did this right they did this right people will love it even more i love it when they don't, don't when they don't do something right what happens well they didn't follow the source material bitch is a tv show it's not that uh but i'm saying it's a tv show when people complain they can't do everything one-to-one it's, it's not a that tv format what is it then, uh, Joey? Go, tell me. Do you give a fuck about Kwang Ha? Everybody know who's Kwang Ha on the show? Does anybody cares about her storyline? I don't. I, well, anybody I don't cares know, about freaking Maki? Is, yeah. I'm talking exactly. about Fallout, you POS. No, I'm talking about Halo. Hmm. But we're talking about Fallout. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Piece of so I'm shit. Not talking, I ain't talking about uh, 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 Fallout yet. But I love Joey, Fallout. I understand the Halo stuff, but I'm saying just in general, people don't know who Halo is, the, the people in Halo is. But in Fallout, I don't know the characters. In the first, time, first 10 minutes going to be hooked. But they're well written. I love all That's the whole point, that's, Joe. You yeah, don't that, need to that's know. The point. The, that's the point I'm trying to say. You don't need to play the games to understand it's a great TV show. That's, that's the first thing you need to nail. A good... A well, good well, 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 Go for it, guy, boy. A good adaptation of a, of a franchise makes you want to go back to that franchise. Look what happened when Fallout show dropped. Fallout 76, Fallout 4, and I think Fallout 3 all on Steam jumped up to real high, high, high I think higher than normal peaks, and people are buying it. Xbox, smart. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, here's an update for Fallout 4, and there's some extra DLC for some stuff I think they want to go forward with it because some of the DLC includes Enclave. The Enclave is not in Fallout 4 because they've been wiped out. I think they're bringing them back, which is something to tie in with the show. Amazing. So, a good, a, I'll put it this way a good Marvel game. Makes you want to go read the comic books like Midnight Suns, Guardians of the Galaxy, how so forth. Or watch the movies, yeah. Or watch the movies. A good video game adaptation makes you want to go play the game. Fallout right. does it. I don't know about Last of Us because I haven't watched it. I don't know about Halo. But Fallout, for a fact, is when they, Microsoft um, uh, Entertainment, whatever they used to call themselves back when they wanted to make TV shows, this is the quality they should have been aiming for before they abandoned it. Because it doesn't have to have everything in the games, but there was enough to get fans um, engaged. And still, with the characters that they showed off, they were well written. They were liked. They had some issues. They weren't perfect, by God. But that doesn't matter. They were like characters that had an arc and change. But it pulled people up in and say, "I want to know more about this world." I saw a video from a guy. He made a, he made this uh, theory about Fallout. I think four or five years ago, it just jumped to a million views because people came back to it because he actually hit on something that they're doing in the show. So when a show is real written and it really engages in the universe of the franchise, it does well, like Fallout. Oh, okay, uh, R&B, let me ask you a question. You know how, like, that whole controversy around, like, Batman and the video games, Batman and Catwoman, that stuff? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Why can't Master Chief I get don't. the same energy when it comes to that? Like, because because Master Chief had that in his show, everybody's, like, off the wall type shit. Like, no, no, no. They're Fallout, they're Fallout, has, Fallout has a unique story. <laughs> you don't know these characters. Well, Halo has its own unique story in their show. So Are why you can't it get about... the same energy? Are you it's talking about Master Chief being intimate with the uh, alien woman or something like that? Yeah, it's not that. Well, that's that particularly has nothing to do with the game. But but that's not I'm talking the about show. the show though. I'm just talking about the show. Like why if, if oh, all okay. I can get the this so much positive energy for like having a unique story in the show, why why can't Halo get that same thing? I'll say because it's so advert to what the game is about. It has that's that element isn't even in the games. That it makes no sense and it like pisses people off. All right, so like you just saying that, it's like proving my point. Like it's it's its own story. No, it could be its own story, but if it's so divergent from the game, no, nope. no. Nope. What, 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 what's up, Joy? There's nope. there's definitely nope. Nope. game nope. elements nope. in the nope. show. Nope. No, 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 I'm not saying. Spart- no, nope. no, Spartans in the books and the lore have sex. Spartans are <laughs> regular people. That's it. But, but That's in not the game. The they don't ever show that. Well, it's not the. It's just. It's a video game. I mean, there's shit. only that's Ball just driven. a video game. I'm sensing you, some you, you want to have game. sex with Master Chief in a video game. <laughs> really no, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm no, saying, but like, it's not that's not it. The problem with Halo is not what <laughs> I don't care if Master Chief. Are you sex. sensing I, some? I don't remember that scene in The Last of Us, but it was in that show. Ah, shit. When you say you're saying right. some hostility. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me address gas. Gas in the lower, they have lower libidos. That's true. However, there is mm. 
records of Spartans having kids. So that means they do reproduce. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't the whole point of their programming to make them not susceptible to seduction and all that, Joey? No, it was, hey, that's for the Spartan 2s. Oh, like, Spartan 3s and does. Spartan 4s. Hey, 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 so, <laughs> listen to we me. We were talking dude. about freaking Fallout. Fallout. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're making a point. point. Talk about Fallout. You start to like, <laughs> that's, now, making a point. that's what that's what it's, pisses me off. That Fallout late, is so it's... great as a show. I'm not a Fallout fan. I don't give a damn about the video games. I've tried it, never liked it. Went and saw the show, and I'm like, oh my god, this thing is great. It went, it was so great that I downloaded Fallout Shelter on my phone and went back and started downloading uh Fallout 4 to see if I start liking it again. I love the cross promotion and the synergy between the game and the show. Every time you open Twitch, you see Fallout 4 for free if you have Prime, whatever video games, and you get you see a trailer for the show. I've seen <laughs> trailers on YouTube about Fallout 76 out of nowhere. The show is freaking great, and I love it. Okay, now do, it do, pisses do, me off that no, Halo never had a trailer for the multiplayer next to it. I, I would say this, Joey. Um, end of the day, there's levels to this. Yeah, Money let, counts Halo's... as well. Budget counts as well. Um, and let me okay. tell you something. Forget the Halo stuff. When you get, never bet against a fucking Nolan, first of all. Simple as. Straight, straight up. That's, that's the number one thing. Was it, was it Steven Spielberg, Spielberg was... attached to Halo? Yeah. And, and, and he but, still but, is. But, but, what, 10 years he ago still or is. Ten years, no, no, he Steven... still is because... No, Joy, because his Joy, production... Do you think his Steven production Spiel... studio is doing Halo. No. Do you think Steven Spielberg still let go? Do you think he's still on that level where he was uh, 20 years ago? He's not. No, he's not. He's not. 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 Uh, Arrest my case. Hey yo, hey yo, Joey, calm your ass down, man. You okay? But anyway, jo- uh, Joey, I wanted to talk about Fallout. Let's talk about Fallout. Honestly, you I was just it? making a point. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. Okay, I'll say this. <laughs> There's three main storylines that intertwine that don't feel like fillers. I love them all three. The girl, I'm not. I don't remember her name, but the guy from the the uh, steel the brotherhood of steel yeah. and of course the ghoul like walter gargan's amazing actor I, hopefully one day he wins a big award because the way he acts on all what he whatever he's acting on 100 10 out of full 10 100 yeah. if it's either comical or horror like or even whatever drama drama whatever Walter Goggins is amazing. I want to see them play like a bad guy. Every time I've seen this he, character, every, he's always a bad guy. He's always a bad guy. guy. Yeah, always. He, he, and he's always a badass guy. cowboy bad guy too. Yeah, so he kind of works like that. that redneck type. Amazing. Yeah. Even the side story. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there was like, look, again, I'm not a fan of Fallout. I never liked the games, but the whole thing about the vaults and Vault Tech and how sinister the whole thing is when you find out what's happening to the neighbor vault and you're like wait what the hell is this thing and it turns real sinister at the end and you start finding out stuff and then, then the whole thing and why the bombs dropped and why they were doing it it's so creepy no not yeah. creepy it's so terrible and horrifying that you have situations happening today in this world and you're like oh my god this could actually happen like that's why i think fallout it's a better representation of our world right now even though it's like exaggerated like 50s futuristic you know you know the that atomic age is a little bit exaggerated but when you look at our world right now and you compare all the post-apocalyptic worlds and video games and, and movies talking about the last of us good show i didn't like it either way uh or this use the last of us because everybody's comparing this show to the last of us i believe fallout the world of fallout can actually happen in less than 10 years than the last of us in a million years that's how good that show is and that's how okay. I lo- that's why I love this show. It's well written. Mm-hmm. It is com- comical. And I started looking for Easter eggs, and there's a lot of Easter eggs. I, I, again, I don't. I'm not a fan of the show, but there's people um, of the games. But there's people that has theories. They have channels around Fallout, and they were just like extremely happy. And if they're happy, and they're saying this thing is amazing, and it well represented their game, what do you think is going to happen to the people who wanted to play the game? You, they, they gave them a push. They gave him a push. Everybody's like, you oh. know what? I'm gonna try trust the game. I, a push. Oh. Exactly. So the show <laughs> and, it's, and plus Microsoft is start being smart. When you download uh Fallout Shelter, they give you the whole suits of the show, they give you like legendary vault dwellers from the show. I'm like, okay, this is cool. That's synergy. You got Fallout getting uh, Fallout 4 getting the new patch. 
That's synergy. You're getting it for free. Fallout 76, you know, a whole bunch of new people. You got, uh, it, it, that's how it should work. And that's why I love that maybe I, you're turning a guy who never liked the games into a Fallout fan. And it's not because if it has to do with Microsoft or Xbox, it's because the show is that good. And now I'm interested in the, in the games. And that's why it pisses me off with Halo. That didn't translate with Halo. And as a great, a big Halo fan, I wish it was this way with Halo. I really was. I really am. But but it's not about Halo right now. It's about Fallout and all the success to them. And once you hear Nolan is attached to something, you know that shit is going to be a banger. You can see the quality in the show. You can see the cinematography. He you can see the, the first it looks fake. The, everything, the, 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 the stages, how they, everything looks real. It doesn't look it's like real. it's Enjoy green. It. No, no. What you mean is, it doesn't look like a, there's a green screen behind it. Everything Joey, looks you know practical. The like all that like he shot that. He shot all that real. It's amazing. All of that. So the desert shots all that. All that's real. That that's all real, bro. And look, the story. It's well, again. It's well written. And I give. I'm not giving it a ten because there, nothing is perfect in my world. But a nine out of ten in the show. I want to see Fallout season two. I want to see so Fallout season three, and I want to see Microsoft announce a new Fallout games to the real fans of the game. They deserve it. Out of everybody who's loving the show, the real fans, R and B who loves Fallout Vegas, they deserve it. So, oh yeah, I, you know what? Congratulations to Bethesda, to to, 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 to Tom Howard for, because this show is just great, yeah. and that's all I have to say about the show. Now Without they almost fans. shot themselves in the foot because remember they had those comments about they're not trying to please the fans, and they end up pleasing the fans. So I was like, what was the point even saying that? So. I guess they maybe they thought they didn't do enough, but they did a pretty damn good job. And from watching the show and seeing the ending, I won't spoil it. It makes me want a new Vegas two, and it makes me want to Fallout five. It makes me want those two games specifically because it deals with a lot of things from uh, Fallout New Vegas, and it makes you think about how the franchise is going to end. Because I'm pretty sure the franchise is going to end at some point; it can't keep going forever. So if they had like one final like Fallout five that really tied in all the well, this is Fallout spot. Five. This is Top Hour said this is the Fallout Five story. Oh, so oh, did he? I know oh, you said shit. that. It's that place. Yeah, it's that PlayStation it, fragrance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if that's the case, we might never get another Fallout game, and I'm fine with that. If no, 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 no. I mean, this is the story he wanted to tell, but it, it's in the universe. It's canon. This is the Fallout Five story. If you want to take it in a certain way. But it, of course, a Fallout Five is going to happen. Of course, a new fall. Todd is not going to stop doing Fallout because he's doing TV. He's not the dumbass of this guy from The Last of Us. What is the? <laughs> I don't even fuck his ass. His name. He's like he's, Todd. I believe in Todd. And besides, they said they're doing a Fallout. So oh, take okay. it easy, man. Okay. Hey, man. Yeah, Fallout Five and the New Vegas Two. That's all I want. All right, fellas. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, very passionate. Mm. discussion there mm. joey <clears throat> was very passionate about how he loves fallout and hates halo he's very passionate about Dude, that the kills were good as well and the way they were killing with the gun and blowing limbs off and all yeah that bro shit. like i said i just watched the first episode that and that i was, was thoroughly good, impressed Dude, once you get to i mean the world building from one to four it's great but when you get into episode five and everything starts unraveling and you start to understand things here and there you're like, what the fuck? That's gonna be your reaction. What the fuck? My that was my reaction because I don't know about the games. I don't know the lore. Mm. So this was all too new to me. And I was like, are you serious? What the fuck? So again, it's, uh, you, I love it. Joy. That's what you come on doing. What <laughs> the f? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, I haven't spoiled anything. No spoilers, Joey. <laughs> I haven't spoiled anything. I didn't even say Jack. <laughs> no spoilers. All right, guys. Um, thank you very much about that. Let me get a couple of super chats. Victor Alistair with the two. We need Nolan directing a new Halo TV show. Mm. Yes, yes. That's like what fire, uh, fire Kiki Wolf care. She, she, she she's the <laughs> producer in charge of the lore, and she's fucked that up. Sorry, Victor Alistair with the two. Yo, it's been years since I miss you. Huh? What does I miss you? What, what's our regard to relate to? Let us know, play. Yeah, I don't know, man. I have no idea. All right. Uh, thank you, Joey. Thank you, Sean, and everybody, R and B, Devin, for the passionate discussing the discussion. I'm sorry. Uh, well, anyway, let's go ahead and move on, man, to some more fun console war banter. 
we got uh, that out of the way. So let's talk. Let's 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 have some fun with this console war, guys. Let me share my screen because uh, it's some console. Oh, hold on, let me pull it up first. I ain't pull it up. The console war stuff is uh, pretty funny right now. Let me uh, make this bigger so we can see. All righty. So let's talk about this stuff. This I vividly remember. A lot of uh, ponies out there bragging about how PlayStation, the first uh, three months of the year, they got so many bangers in their portfolio. Yes, none of them are first party, but they have some great third party games, exclusives. And Xbox doesn't have anything until May with Hellblade 2. And that's a huge L for Xbox. And let's be honest, guys. I think we all knew Hell, uh, I'm sorry, Foam Stars is going to flop. Hell Divers turned out to be a hit. That's the one hit they do have out of these uh, games. Um, Rise of Ronin look look like it's a flop. We don't know about Stellar Cheeks yet. But the game, I will admit, I'm a little surprised by is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's underperforming sales-wise. An analyst has claimed the game has reportedly sold about half of what Final Fantasy VII Remake did in the same time frame. Now look, y'all. I have a question. Let's have a little fun with it. Yeah. Rise of Ronin came out. <laughs> yes, Rise of Ronin. No, Rona. no, I'm not even it did come out. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, a few weeks ago, bro. No, it, it it flopped. Trust me, it definitely flopped. You're talking about Stella Cheeks is coming out in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's be real here, guys. Like I mentioned already, per- personally, I'm surprised right uh Final Fantasy VII Rebirth didn't do as well. As the first remake, hell, even I'm not, 16. I'm not, 16 did better. I'm not so surprised. I wonder why Final Fantasy 16 last year did better. Now, we all knew when they didn't announce numbers, we knew something was up. They announced numbers for 16. They announced they always announce their numbers, right? When when the games do well. But we knew the game dropped in was it February, late February or late January, whenever the game dropped, and oh, nothing for time. months. So it's pretty much saying that the game flopped. It was extremely underwhelming. And Square Enix has another flop under PlayStation for Spoken. Flop. Oh, Final sorry. Fantasy 16 did okay. Square Enix wanted more. But here we are, Final Fantasy 7, which is Square Enix's biggest franchise, with another underwhelming flop. So 16, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it it did better. <laughs> it did better than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But what are they going to do now? Is this something that we're starting to see the games industry, these third-party deals just aren't working like they're used to? Exclusive third-party deals, right? We've seen uh, they spent a hundred and something million dollars on Final Fantasy XVI. Easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They said they spent like a hundred and something million dollars on it. Not sure what they spent on this game, but all these games are flopping, man, with the exception of Hell Divers. Hell Divers is the only game that didn't flop. And let's be honest, I'm not trying to be a bot here, but PC carried that shit. We saw the numbers. Them are Fox. He's not you're not you're not being a bot, though. Them are Fox, bro. We send the numbers where it says at the time it was like 253 in the K versus like 40k on PlayStation. Yeah, I like the problem. Getting back to the Final Fantasy stuff, um, I like is this Square Enix to like we know the, the games that they they sell okay, then they then they get flops after flops after flops, then they do okay again. But everybody knows when it comes to the Final Fantasy games, I don't think they hit like that anymore. Like back yeah, in the nineties and all that stuff, uh, you know, fifteen, sixteen, and like like the homies in the chat saying that flop sixteen flopped as well. And so they, they got to go back to the remakes, the rebirths, the rebleach, whatever you want to call them pieces of shit games end of the day if you're gonna limit that to one platform i expect to get dog shit sales mm. but please be smart put that shit on pc do not leave the pc people out there if you want to keep it away from nintendo and xbox fair players yeah, go for put it. it on pc yeah but if you're keeping that shit six seven months away from the pc platforms what's gonna happen when the game releases nine times nine times out of ten people are moved on they're playing some other shit who knows? Elden Ring DLC might come out the same day as Final Fantasy. What, what, what are they going to play? Elden Ring. Right. DLC. 
So you gotta do it. You gotta be more smarter. Uh, put the games on PC at least day and day. Get that shit ready. And this is what happened to lose half the sales when they announced the numbers. What like the one previously there last year hit what like three million and what like a week or something. Yeah, yeah. Now this one has been six weeks, and then they mentioned what two million people. That's not official, but they mm-hmm. saying when it comes to the trophy count, two million people in what in the space of six weeks. That's a low number compared to the last one. So I wonder what Square is going to do because we know they made a deal with Phil Spencer, the partnership as well with the Xbox. And I reckon the, the new CEO, whoever the guy is, president, whoever, whoever his title is, he's going to make sure that games will release on more platforms, multi-platforms for sure. And yeah. whatever, deal, mm. whatever deal they got with Sony or Nintendo, I'm sure them games in the future, no doubt, multi-platform releases. Yep, yep. Hey, so let me <clears throat> let's just, like before we go to the rest of you guys. Now we're talking about Final Fantasy VII, but like I said, some of these other games flopped. Now, um, don't forget there was a time where people were saying if you don't, uh, if you're not playing Foam Stars, you will be blocked. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah, who the fuck said that, Dirk? Oh, come on, <laughs> come on! Don't tell they me they were saying anymore. blocked. Oh, come on, let me, let me pull it up. Bro. He's, he's might as well block I want, I want, I want to, I want to see that, Dirk. Okay, no he problem. Might as well he's block right himself. Now. You get? Yeah. Oh, block you right now. <laughs> you can show. I can show you right now. If you're not going to play Foam Stars, you will be blocked. Hey, Sean, mm. look at this shit. Hey, you know so funny this about this shit. guy right here? I don't really have a problem with this guy, right? We take shots at him sometimes. Oh, yeah? He's taking shots at us before. But I was like, that that video thrashed this did about me last week, like an hour and, and a half video about me. I saw this dude in the comment section laughing with the laughing emojis. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I saw a few guys in the comment section with the laughing emojis. Oh, that shit funny, huh? Okay. Um, so they also, now this is from January. Um, there's a clip of these guys saying the foam stars hate is because it's exclusive. Let me um share my screen. No. I never hated the game, by the way. No, this is what this guy is saying, not you, George. I know, I, I know the these tweet you guys are about. saying hate for foam that we stars. hated it since its inception. It's valid, especially after playing the beta. For you know, we played a lot, we played this beta a lot, played with a lot of different people in the community. From your experience with the game, do you think the hate that this game is getting is warranted? No, I don't think I don't think the hate is warranted at all because majority of the hate is coming from it's similar to another multiplayer game. You know what I mean? Which that's just gaming in general. You know what I mean? Games are inspired from other games. They're gonna have its own different, you know, you know, things that they do, and that's just multiple games in general. Mm. You know what I mean? I. I think the hate comes from it being PlayStation uh, exclusive. Oh, ain't that? You know what I mean, that's where the hate comes from with the game. Isn't that ironic? Mm-hmm. All the hate I'm Xbox games not get that just because my opinion Xbox of the game is the only one that. Yeah, that's all we need to hear right there. <laughs> like I, I remember. Said... Okay, man, go ahead, Joe. No, 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 go ahead. You're finished. You're finished. I was saying, like I said, this, 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 this guy was laughing in the chat. King Thrash thought thought he roasted me that bum ass video. I said, okay. <laughs> okay. You up here saying Foam Stars hate came from people because it's a PlayStation exclusive. Let that sink in. Mm. Let that sink in. So so they think it's only they're only getting hate on that game because of Splatoon. Like yeah. it's getting compared and, to Splatoon. And, and, and it's a PlayStation exclusive. But According to now, that video took place sometime in January. Now, according to this, these numbers, PlayStation guys didn't play play the damn game. They didn't. That buy was it. No, well, they didn't even have to buy it. All they had to have was a PlayStation yeah, Plus. And game. that was gonna be my point. Regardless of the hate is getting because of it's a copy of Splatoon. Regardless if Xbox players uh, were talking shit about the game, PlayStation gamers let the game down. Not they us. didn't play it. They didn't play it. Either they didn't play it or they didn't have plus. Or they the were not, or they were fake hyping up the game and they were not oh, really they were. interested in the game. Because yeah, if yeah. they were really interested in a game, like a fail game that we 
when we saw that game on that trailer that day, all of us said, this game ain't going nowhere. Hey, hey Joey, for simple, Joey. For simple reasons. One, it's not original enough. Two, PlayStation gamers don't play multiplayer games. Three, PlayStation gamers is all about the graphics. And mm. four, you're releasing this game on the wrong platform. Hey, Joey, guess what? Pentiment got a Game of the Year award. Oh, God. Pentiment. <laughs> Let that and, that's, and that's my thing. Multiplayer games tend to die on PlayStation. They, for the they say we don't play games. They don't though, play. Joe. They don't play that stuff. They While you have what I know, but when you look at the redemption stories of Xbox, Sea of Thieves came out dead. That game was gonna die. Look where it is now, charting on PlayStation, mm. which is crazy. Halo Infinite was die was dead before we even re they released the game. Where is Halo now? Better than ever. Fallout seventy six. Just one TV show later, in a few years, now everybody's back hey, playing Joey, Fallout 76. That game died Dude. multiple times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have State of the Cave 2. Still, Still getting updates. Up updates. Man, that game had like 40-something updates. <laughs> oh, my God. Redfall. I saw a tweet three days ago. I'm like, these, these bastards are still around. And apparently oh, they're yeah. just, just rolling with the punches, but eventually they'll get there. When it comes to PlayStation and supporting their games and Square Enix, I'm sorry, Square. It's not play, it's not Xbox's fault, it's not anybody's <laughs> fault, it's the PlayStation fan base fault. They didn't support the game, they were fake hyping it when in the beginning they never had interest in actually playing this game. They even gave it for free. And they never mm. saw them play it. They pretend to say they play it. My, I think they they put the controller in somebody's daughter's hand and let them play, it, and then they say all oh, the hours were mine. But I really believe that none of these guys played it. Not like us. We actually test our games, and we can say it straight up. We didn't like Sea of Thieves. None of us. We can actually say that they will never admit that Foam Stars they didn't like it. Just a cap for their company, and that's right. the difference between an Xbox gamer and talk about a PlayStation game. Jory, Jory, just. Go back to that showcase where they showed Pentiment in the reactions on our show. That game won a Game of the Year award. They say we don't play <laughs> games, we don't support the devs, uh, we don't support the devs, and, and we don't buy exclusives. Pentiment won a Game of the Year award. That shows enough about Xbox gamers as opposed to these motherfuckers. Yeah, oh, man. Uh, Lonely the Black Mom with the Five. Final Fantasy Seven in '97 was one game. Square is remaking the game in three parts at seventy dollars each. This is probably where Sony got the idea from the Insomniac leak for Spider Man Three. That's a great point, man. Because I don't, you know, I know people were saying, you know, they're like the game is still pretty big, whatever. But that's true. Square. I remember Final Fantasy Seven being was it four three discs? Or was it four discs? It might have been. I think it was four discs. I, I think there. so. <clears throat> yeah, I remember Kingdom Hearts Three flopping. Are you three? Kingdom Hearts three? No, no, no. The Green yeah. Thorns three didn't flop. The one we got that was yeah, multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, that, that was on Xbox. Flopped. That didn't flop. That didn't flop. That game, that game was a flop, Joey. I, I don't know. I thought it flopped. No, no. We never heard anything about that game. Actually, we heard <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it flopped. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <flopped. laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't think it flopped. I really don't think it flopped. But whatever. I think it did. But anyway, Victor Alice thing on the two dirt used to try voice acting. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hey man, I can be uh Shadow the Hedgehog. What you oh, think? Shit. Mm. Who am your ass, Sonny? Come on, I, I, I can't. <laughs> yeah. I can't see. Adrian, I, every time I hear, give me your Idris Elba's knuckles, right? Yeah, I can't see. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's weird. Like Idris Elba's knuckles. Hey, listen. I want to be Shadow, man. They talking about Keanu Reeves. I want to be Shadow. Let me be Shadow. Keanu Reeves a Shadow? No. Yeah. Hey, That's... hey. Jim Carrey. I ain't gonna. That... I ain't gonna call him Eggman. Hey, he's a hey, Jim serious. Carrey, bring your ass over here, boy. You punk. He's a... These are two serious actors for a child's video game movie. I don't get why they keep picking people like that, but anyway. That's okay, man. Calm down, RB. It's okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys. Uh, so oh, yeah, oh, these... oh, 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 let's go back to Final Fantasy, which was the original topic. Yeah. And I know people are saying uh, there people are surprised about these numbers. I wasn't. Because who, who, one, who would be surprised besides a pony? Let's put it this way: when Final Fantasy Remake came out, there was 120 PlayStation 4s out there, and the game released. At the same time as Epic Game Store, I understand people don't play Epic Game Store, but there's a lot of people who actually from PC actually said, you know what, I'm gonna have to buy it on the Epic Game Store, unfortunately. So there was some some sort of a PC release for the game. 
Plus, when I saw the numbers of Intergrade plus Final Fantasy Remake together, they sold combined 7 million copies. I'm like, that's their ceiling right there. If you think Final Fantasy Rebirth is going to get more than 7 million in five less than five years, I'm sorry. You're crazy. And then now we see the reports that it's selling half than what Remake did and its lifespan. So Final Fantasy, the hardcore Final Fantasy, its ceiling is 7 million. No more than that. And that's in the hype of a PlayStation 4 with 100 million uh, consoles out there. So, no, I'm not surprised at all. And this is, again, Square Enix's fault. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's it's Square Enix's fault and it's Sony's fault, too, because it's Final Fantasy, Foam Stars, and Idiot... Uh, not Idiot, they, they at least tried something, but they just can't get it right. They've proven time and time again they're just bad at multiplayer games. They hit it out the park with Helldivers, but Helldivers is not their game. It's someone else's game. Same thing with Foam Stars, but still, a, a bad game is a bad game. My issue is... PlayStation has to expand besides just the first party games they have right now. And so far, they've done a terrible job at it with Foam Stars, with um all Destruction All Stars, the other game that flopped. It's just the multiplayer games just keep hitting. Did, now maybe did um, Fair Games come out. I think what? that's what it was called. It was called Fair Games. It was like a no, that, that hasn't come out yet. Payday. So between Fair Games, um uh, uh Concord and what's Marathon, was the three games upcoming. We'll see how those do, but those will be multiplayer. So the success of uh, PlayStation Futures kind of hinges on them, but here's my thing: I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, I call it stubbornness, call it cultural um, xenophobia, whatever you want to call it. The fact that Square Enix still has any type of contract with anybody is kind of stupid on their part, because mm. I don't know how much money do you need to lose to not say, you know what, this isn't working, because I'm gonna say it like this. Final Fantasy VII is probably the most popular Final Fantasy game in the entire franchise. There's no other game more popular than that. If that's doing these bad sales-wise, you have no hope of another remake or another new game because nothing else is as popular. Mm. You know what? I just think at the at the end of the day, bro, this is a different time. Just because a game was super, super duper popular back in the 90s don't mean it still is going to be that. This I is a the, different time, bro. I think the franchise is dog shit right now. I'm not yeah, going to lie, I, Dirk. I never care for the franchise. Um, Dragon's Blade 79 with the five PlayStation is the casual box. <clears throat> Excuse me. There isn't enough core gamers on PS5 to support those exclusives or multiplayer games, not COD. Yeah, their biggest multiplayer game is COD and Fortnite, bro. 100%. Jay Rimble with the two PS5 Pro. Brother, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Brother, ugh. <laughs> What's that? Uh, <laughs> What's that? <laughs> but the, uh. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. That's about it, man. We just having a little fun uh, at PlayStation fanboys expense because they was hyping up all, all of these games. And like I said, Hell Divers is the only successful game they dropped the uh, first uh quarter of the year. But you know, it is what it is. Now, now just imagine this though. <clears throat> just imagine Stellar Cheeks. <coughs> Doesn't kill it, does underwhelming. Uh, what do they have to like look uh, forward to? Dirt, I'm gonna <laughs> say this teams. like, those uh, oh, the <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the only game that I like out of the three that RB was talking about, like, I think Marathon's gonna do good. Like, I feel like that's the only game that has any type of hype around it. I I think it's gonna fail out of all of them, like, but it's still Bungie, and you know how they operate right now. Absolute mm -hmm. dog shit. So nothing really. Wolverine. Yeah. So. Wolverine isn't would Grand do well. Isn't Grandis supposed to be coming Wolverine out tomorrow or something? Or this week? I have no it's idea. Not only on Switch though. That's gonna hit though. Right. Yeah. No, I, I can't I can't predict the future. I can't tell it's gonna hit or not. Hey, so so no, that like Jeremy Brown, yeah, kid. yeah. I mean you're right. When you said there you can't say that because Mario and Zelda, they those games came out in the ages, they're still selling well. That's true. Um, but Nintendo like Nintendo's just a different beast, bro. Remakes, no, there's still 80s games that still hit though. Right, remakes like, games like can besides do Mario good. and Zelda, what? Metroid? Well, there's not many games. Metroid that are don't older. Hit. There's, no Metroid. there's not there's not many games older than Dust though. Like right now, my <laughs> right now the older games are from Nintendo. 
but like franchises that has 20 years at least are still selling. Like Halo is still up there. Fallout, Fallout, Fallout's an old ass game from the 80s, bro. No, no, yeah, 90s. Right. I think it was 80s. Late 80s. Yeah. Doom. So they're still out there. It's just okay. Counter Strike is another 90s I'd game. Argue that. A 20 year old game. Okay, fair enough. Right up. Yeah. But it's fair no enough, buddy. Game, though. <laughs> fair enough, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Let me get the super, the super from the homie called We with the five. Y'all know this. Uh, nobody cares about PS5 Pro. This what it finally seems more interesting than what Xbox has planned for next generation emerging consoles. PC, PlayStation is just boring. Yes, I said that in the DM, man. I said there's no hype surrounding it. I remember last generation where the rumors about Project Scorpio and also the PS4 Pro. It was hype. It was hype surrounding those those two mid gen refreshes this time. Yeah, because we needed those. Like it's not the same as last. Yeah, time. yeah, we, we did need those. those. Yeah, 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 we because definitely. Because if need you them. had if you had an Xbox Fat or or DS at least, you can see certain grainy shit on the yeah, screen. Yeah, absolutely. We and did. And need when you're them, playing but... those games on a 4K TV, you're like, ee, ee. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. That's the point that we're making. We don't need a PS4 5 Pro. Like no, 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 no. I disagree. Uh, it's not about need. It's the timing, and the way they put it out. This is the repeat of a PlayStation 4 Pro again. Right. Remember the Xbox One X was a hell of a jump. Yeah, it was. The PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 4 Pro wasn't a big jump, and it's not the same shit again. And people were hyped. Take two T flops. CPU's been boosted up four times yeah. the power. Piss attack. As soon yeah, as the specs cap. came out, released the CPUs only just about ten percent at time to choose to do it. It's sixteen T flops, fifteen T flops at best. All that stuff. The hype went away, bro. Because I know the CPUs is basically the same shit. The only thing, the only thing they can rely on is the the piss attack. If that actually works, if that doesn't work, then fair plays. The what? And that's the what happened, Playboy. What's that? Apparently that's the DLSS uh, tech or something that equivalent. You call it piss attack? It's called P S S R. P O S S R. Yeah, that's what it's called. P S S R or something. P O S S R. All right. P O S. Oh man. And that's the problem, um, bro. And that's why people are excited for the next gen for the Xbox because they're actually gonna launch it to a different level. But this is just like what? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Huh, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and move on, man. Piss or tech. <laughs> <laughs> do this timestamp. 59. I say 25. Hey, Sean, you know what time it is, man? Hold on. Please do. Tell me. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Where is it at? Oh, I'm sorry. Piss in tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 Sean, you know what time it is? What time is it, killer? <laughs> I think you know. Shit of the week. It is time for a good old POS of the week. Now look, man. Um, have a couple this week, a few, whatever. Now, the first one, this one happened earlier today. And I gotta give the homie RB full credit for this one. This guy, Dark Lord Alu, or whatever the hell his name is. He always got some shit to say. You know, he's one of the opponents that always got something to say every time I promote a video or, or you know, it's things like that. Because I don't talk a lot on Twitter, but I definitely p- promote my upcoming videos. So he was responding to what I said, you know, how Fallout 76, you know, how Fallout games have gotten the boost. And he responded, it's about time because the PlayStation community has been keeping this game alive. But you won't say that in your video because you're a hardcore Xbox fanboy that has a narrative you won't tell the truth. So he shows up to say a Microsoft document show how PlayStation now say Fallout 76. Okay. The homie RB, uh damn where is that? RB had a great comeback. RB say they supposedly kept 76 alive but couldn't keep foam stars or distortion <laughs> all stars for, from flopping, huh? I said, that's a great damn point. That's a great point. Both of those games launched in PlayStation Plus 
you know, of course they don't have PlayStation now anymore, but it's kind of like PlayStation Plus. How come PlayStation Plus didn't save those games from flopping? Why well, do these those guys? Are, hmm. How you say what? Because those games are dog water and, and Fallout is actually great. Absolutely, bro. And that's my thing, bro. Like guys like him, I just can't promote our show. Yes, we might be talking shit. I might say, yeah, in the title, PlayStation games flop. Oh no, look at this. Fallout 76, PlayStation says, shut up. Shut the hell up. So tired of these dudes, man. They're annoying as hell, man. Oh man, I mean, why is this guy going after you the game uh, adaptation? Uh so let him be. Well, what's the same? <laughs> He been talking shit about Joey the whole show. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. Let let him be. Let him be. be. (laughs) That doesn't bother me. Mm. Uh, All right. Now, this next guy. I'm tired of this guy, man. I'm so tired of this guy. Unleashed. Oh, shit. Absolutely insane to see the growth of Helldivers 2 Twitter account in a mere two months from from a few thousand to above 550K followers now. Look at this. Obliterating Starfield Twitter. Bro, this Wait, dude cannot oh, we, stop talking about Starfield. We're talking about social we, media accounts now. He is talking about social media accounts, man. Oh, is that Every, supposed to be a win for PlayStation gamers? Yes, for him. Starfield has less Twitter followers than Helldivers 2. I, I think we should put out a wellness check on this guy, Dirt. Something wrong with him, man. I, he might be in trouble. So and he got 223 likes, bro. What is wrong with these ponies? Are crazy. They are crazy. They're delusional. Like I can, I can make points here about like how stupid this is, but I, I really think he might have something going on. <laughs> this dude cannot stop talking about Starfield, man. This is about the fourth or fifth uh, POS of the week from this guy, and every time he's still bringing up Starfield. He can't let like leave a game, <laughs> damn game, the damn game alone, man. Leave it alone, man. Jeez, bro. Goodness. Uh, where the last one at, man? Sickness. Damn. It is a sickness. <laughs> it's a sickness. Yeah, yo, shout out to Island J. Oh man. But 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 here's funny. They keep talking about Starfield. It failed. It failed. It failed. Dude, start talking about Foam Star and Final Fantasy. Those games are failing. Those right. are the games you should be talking about. Isn't that Please? funny? Isn't that funny when you look at that, that list, the top 10 monthly active users, Starfield is the only single-player game. Single-player game in 2023. The only single-player game, but now they still want to talk about it. Was it why Spider-Man wasn't in that list? Uh, Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a damn good down. question, Joy. Stranger Things. That's a damn good question, Joy. <laughs> Check this out, yo. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> that's cool, Devin. That's oh, my cool, God, Devin. Devin. Hey, Dave, you gain weight? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man. So, last one. <sighs> I'm so tired of these guys, man. For the final. Oh, well, this one is really not much of a POS of the week. It's just that he's a POS of the week. Today, <laughs> I've been playing Sea of Thieves on PS5, and it looks insane. <laughs> It Let's looks talk exactly graphic, the same. Quest and why this game is better than ever. Man, shut your punk ass up. <laughs> graphics, the, you, that shit, I understand the quest. I understand the missions. But, what? Uh, bro. Stop that. Stop. Joy, jo- 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 you break it up a little bit. Uh, what'd you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> what quest? We have that already. We've been having that for, for, for more than five years. What are you talking about? Sean, stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Sean. Oh, man. <laughs> Today, you're like, and it looks insane. No, no, are you talking about the same about graphics. Peers? You talking about the same see if these y'all was roasting for years? Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> F that water, remember that? Oh, God. Uh, oh man. So now that it's on PS5, hey, this game might really ain't that bad. I'm oh, telling God. you right now, this game's gonna do good. I'm yeah, telling man. you right now, it's gonna be probably top top two, top three in the PlayStation charts. Yeah, man, watch out. But, but the ancient. thing is, see, Sean, that's the difference between us. I have a PS5, right? 
I don't. I, I, like I saw somebody there say, uh, say that said that Doc Dart said, "Yo, why y'all call me a pony?" By guys like Dirk got a PS5. I don't have a PS5. So I'm like, that's what they. That's a call we said in the chat. Whatever, bro. Yeah. I got a PS5. I don't have a PS5 is, bruh. What? What? We can't. We can't be gamers now. Yeah. So look, man. The thing is, if I want to play a game, I'll play a game, bro. If I want to play a PlayStation game, I have a PS5 for that particular reason to play it. And these guys refuse to play the Xbox games. They bashed it for years. Now all of a sudden it looks incredible. Get the, you know, I'm I'm tired of the hypocrisy with these guys, man. Uh, it's the graphics anyway, guys, we love, bro. No, That's in, the no integrity. Spots. Graphics. Dreamcast guy unleashed, and whoever the other person is, all three of you are pieces of shit of the week. Piece of shit of the week. So damn annoying, bro. So annoying. Let <laughs> me get to these super chats. Uh, Time Maker Man with the five PlayStation fanboys are trying to make the pro seem like a big deal, like it will cure cancer. They can choke oh. on it. Yeah, man. It, it, I'm probably going to do shit. If Xbox come out there on, on the Game Awards and announce their new console, <laughs> ain't nobody going to care about the pro, bro. <laughs> Oh man, That's so crazy! So Game bad. by choice with the two ponies should stop following games and play them. You would think they would <laughs> they would do that. <laughs> yeah, man, this is play some damn games, bro. Spoonie Love with the two hundred yen. Why Sean looks like Ernie from Sesame Street? Now, why he say that? That's not nice. Because <laughs> Spoonie does. Love, he said, "Why dirt look like Tommy from Martin?" <laughs> now that's definitely not nice. Not all dark skinned bald head black man look like. At Mar- <laughs> he was about to say something dog like dog. Shit. <laughs> That's what he loved another. Why Joey looks like he about to join the bloodline? Come on, man. Mm. Joey's not Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's not she. Samoan, man. Come on, man. Uh Ray G4. <laughs> uh <laughs> hey Derek, did you watch the UFL yesterday? Your your Michigan Panthers won. Nah, I ain't watched that shit, man. Someone said I look like I'm from Russia. <laughs> or chili. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, y'all got anything else, man? Nah, bro, man. <laughs> nah, player. Nah, bro, not dut. Not dut. Uh, what's the other topic I want to talk about? I can't before? believe they're talking about CFD's graphics six years later. <laughs> the PPS. It's, it's yeah, I know, but I'm, it's, I'm still water, shocked Jerry. about. I'm, I'm still shocked about it. Because if these really yeah. looks that good, and now they're noticing it, like, right? Come on, like, come on, bro. The game <laughs> we knew, like, see if these always well, not necessarily characters, but the the water uh, looked incredible, bro. We've said that for the longest. Even I said that, and I want to see. It. I wanted to really like see if these, and I would love to give it another shot with playing with some people that know how to play. You ain't gonna play it. <laughs> play the campaign. I swear I, I, swear I would. You ain't gonna play, play the campaign. That know how to play. play the camp- Play the, the, the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, expansion or the Monkey Island one. Yeah, Sean, how dare you? I, I will play. You ain't gonna how play dare you? Shit. I never uh, uninstalled it off of my Xbox, punk. Uninstalled that shit. Nah, let's play it, Sean. Uh, <laughs> Come on. No. Are you going to work tomorrow? Let's play it. Come on, let's, no. let's play it. <laughs> Come on, Sean, let's play it. I'm playing that shit. <laughs> Uh, come on, man. You are no fun, man. Well, anyway, let me uh, talk about one more thing before we get to do you give a shit. Because Sean is Sean is no fun, man. Let's play CFD, Sean. We want to prove that we play games, right? I ain't playing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to play shit games, bro. Uh, I don't care. I'll go. Listen, I don't care if it's done 40 million pills. I don't care, even though it's an Xbox game. I don't want to play that shit. Simple. Man, I, I can't believe you. Okay, man. Somebody in, in the in the chat want to play, man. Cause Sean, Sean the party pooper, man. You know what I'm saying? Sean the party pooper. He don't want to play today. I don't know like no damn Carl Herrera. You know, I know you know what? I Who know that? NBA guys. I told you I know that shit. Call weed with the five. If Xbox mm-hmm. does what I think they will for next gen, they have a chance to ruin the idea of console and PlayStation. I'll explain on TTS Friday exciting stuff. Interesting, bro. Good shit. Let's go. And whoever said in the chat, I don't look like a be- a beach ball. Stop it. 
Yeah, stop, man. Y'all, y'all be nice, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Apple Cab 72 to 5. I'm surprised Dirt didn't have Reforge on POS of the week. He said that Gear 6 would be 60 FPS only on PS5 Pro. Yeah. You, I, you know what? Up. I did kind of forget to put him on there, but that shit crazy, yeah. bro. He said so many things wrong. Like, he doesn't even know if Gears has a PvP mode. I'm like, oh, my God. Bro, this, I saw Alex's video. Alex dude, roasted his ass, bro. This dude has no idea what Gears of War is, and he's talking shit about Gears of War. It's crazy. They're acting like it's confirmed to go to PlayStation. Who's that? Come on, man. Stop it. Jerron Worthy with the two dirt look like hard. I do not look like him. <laughs> I told you, I know 90s NBA guys. <laughs> that ain't funny. <laughs> Dragon's Blade with the fire. Some folks went full pony. You never go full pony or pony bot. Just play games on whatever platform. That's right. Mm. Dragon's Blade. I don't never. look like David Ortiz. <laughs> Big Poppy. Totally different color of a person. Uh, <laughs> hey man, come on, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, so this real quick topic I want to talk about. It's not much of a topic. Like I said, it's not a lot of news. Oh, come on, Sir S, man. You too? <laughs> oh come on, Sir X man. Show some respect. <laughs> All right. Um, so Jeff Grubb left this message, and I just thought it was funny. He said, I was on Moot Show on Friday, <laughs> and people were losing their minds because I repeated what Sony executives have been saying about needing to find growth beyond its current audience. So, make the long story short. Jeff Grubb is just pretty much saying they're going to put their shit on other platforms, probably PC, and ponies don't like to hear it. They still think it's the PlayStation of 2000. Mm. They don't like to hear it. They don't want to hear the truth about PlayStation is starting is going to go day and date. The PlayStation executives, like Jeff Grubb said, has said the same damn thing, but they are attacking him. For saying what the PlayStation executive said. <laughs> listen, ponies, listen. I'm going to get close to the mic because maybe I'm being too loud. Listen, you assholes. Yeah. You need to realize that things are changing. Yes. Realize that things are changing. PlayStation currently has a drought. Y'all better hope they show some shit at their showcase next month because they have a drought. Their first party is dry. The All the third party exclusives they had, that shit dropped this, this year already. All they have left is mm. Silent Cheeks 2. And, and I say Cheeks <laughs> with Silent Hill because not because of the character like Stella Blade. No, because the game looks Cheeks. Ass. <laughs> Open ass. I don't know about that. <laughs> so I need y'all to understand that <laughs> Amit Kumar just had a great point. They lost COD marketing. Their biggest mm. game every year. I forgot about that. It's owned by their biggest competitor. Mm. However many consoles, I'm sorry, however many copies, Call of Duty sales. Xbox is getting that cut now. Xbox is getting that 70% now. Hey, Dirt, I thought Bluebird team was trash. They said that. Oh, they said it was trash with the medium, didn't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just oh, telling y'all right now, open your dumb ass eyes. Realize that things is not all gravy and, and peaches and cream how y'all think it is. Y'all attacking Jeff Grubb for saying the same thing that Hiroki Totoki said. Y'all best-selling game every year is owned by your biggest competitor. Let that sink in. I don't think it's sink in yet until that shit come on Xbox stage. But oh, shit. Until they start saying bundles. Because they've had this since 2015. Damn near 10 years. I thought PSVR 2 is going to be the greatest thing ever, Dirt. Better than the Quest. PSVR. Where's Chris Hart musty ass at? PSVR 2. <laughs> Come on, man. Leave, leave they dead with that? That's that's done. Motion sickness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, man. 
I think it said Joey look like Kirby. Come on, I know. I'm, 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 re- I'm reading them. I'm like, this one. these guys don't stop, bro. <laughs> Looney boy. Oh, man. With the five, I can't believe we are less than two months away from Xbox Summer Showcase. Mm. Watch all the flip floppers try to come two back. Two months already? Start wow. the hype train now. Looney boy, you know we got our eyes on all of those flip floppers. We ready, play, but we, we ready. ready. We are ready, bro. Got our eyes on all of them. Looney Boy with the two Xbox will drop that COD box and move units. Yeah, man, they should definitely package it. If one of those. they package it, it though, push on that shit. Yep. If they bundle it though, they yeah they got to promote it, right? If they allowed to, all they gonna bundle it is with Game Pass though. <laughs> That's all they got to bundle it with, right? Jesus. Three free months of Game Pass. <laughs> no, but uh. Why can't Brass with the two? Y'all seem feel like Coachella. He wild for that. Yeah, man. That was, was that AI. They've been doing that AI. stuff. Yeah, AI, so it's AI. AI. It's AI. That's crazy, man. They've been putting anybody there. I'm like, wow. Paul Marble with the five, with the two Canadian PlayStation is trash every day, and so are ponies. You damn right they are. Mm. Mm. You right, man. I, I don't know why ponies think they're like the center of the universe. They do. It's bro. crazy. Bro. It's it's like they are narcissists, stop. man. They they're narcissists. <laughs> they just think they come on, man. Actual hilarity. Clowns, it's a yeah. mental illness. Joe Dumb over the two dirt. Are you and Spencer still for hire? You know what? You know, you know, I'm an older guy, so I understand that reference. You know that, right? Joe Dumb or your ass probably old too. If you watch Spencer for hire in the 80s, and I'm not hawk, you asshole. <laughs> I gotta google that now. <laughs> See, that's a that's a show oh, from the 80s. My mama used to watch that. shit. It's it was a black ball head guy. <laughs> <laughs> did, did they make a movie about that? Recently? Yeah, they did make a movie Mark, with uh Mark with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, 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 they did. I know you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, but okay. that, was, like, that was a okay. remake. That was a okay. Man Here's the thing: when I was a kid, these people, dude, I, when I was a kid, some people have pictures that actually look like Baby Sinclair. That is actually true. Who the hell is Baby Sinclair? From the dinosaurs? Not oh, <laughs> not the problem. somebody actually no, somebody dude. put it on the chat, and Hold yeah, on. that's not actually mama? true. Yeah, I, there's, I, I, yeah, I there's like actual pictures show, of me I forget the that people are like, I, I used to look like very secure. That is actually true. I'll, I'll give you that Hey, yo. I remember that show. Not the mama. Yep. <laughs> That's fucking That's actually funny. funny, Joy. Hey, man, leave my man Joy alone, man. That's my homie, man. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Sir Ace Man with the two. Drizzle, fine. drizzle. Ponies Xbox throwing it back at you. That's right, Sir Ace Man. TTS, brother. All right, man. Uh, that's pretty funny. So shout out to Jeff Grubb. Uh, but I don't know why he went on that show. Actually, Tom Warren said, "Why the hell would you go on that show?" <laughs> mm, that shit was that, that shit was funny, man. Yeah, man. All righty, guys. Uh, Sammy, you got to go tonight, brother. Yeah, yeah. I've got to got something in the morning, bro. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, man. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, man. Well, I, well, I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll talk yeah. to you tomorrow, I'll, man. I'll you, yeah, I'll get time tomorrow. Yeah, you. so I don't know what you're waiting for. Just go and get out of here, man. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, yeah? <laughs> you're yeah, of get shit. the fuck out of here, man. Just, what you waiting for? Do us I'll a favor. Bit, boys. Yeah, yeah, do us a favor, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> what you waiting for, brother? <laughs> I, don't know one, I don't know what's the hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> what you smiling <laughs> for? Go get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> you as I've seen a bit, man. All right, bro. Have a good night, bro. All right, peace, All right, peace out, man. POS. Get out He's of still here. here. He's still here. <laughs>
Yo, what's up? Oh, shit, okay. what's up, man? Yeah, I've been playing some COD earlier. All right. <laughs> yeah, Kansas <laughs> Style was like, yo, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, man. I don't, I don't understand how I look like a dark skin somebody that's already dark skin. Man, the They're like a dark skin Xavier right. Medina. He's already dark skin, Raw Rebel. Piece of shit. All right, guys, it's time for Do You Give a Shit Gaming News. Hey, man, where the five, like, where the five foot assassin at, man? He's always right. here. He normally here. No. He was on a, on a show last night with, with, uh, Web Dave. Web Dave, yeah. Shout out to the homie Web Dave. Retry. Um, so hey, check this out. GameStop is running a buy two, get one free <laughs> uh deal promotion on all used games. Joey, what you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making fun no, of so, so hold on, hold on. You're buying two for three? three, oh, three for, for two. two. Yeah, three, three for yeah. two. A three for two on on used games. games. You know what? Maybe somebody, maybe some people should go check it out. If something good for you, pick it up, and that's it. I, I can't hate. Like why that would I hate? In the back of the day, though, but why hate? I'm not. I used to, I'm not I used hate, to man. Do that. I used to do that all the time. Though. But they like, gotta do what they gotta do. I used to grab a bunch of games at Game Crazy back on the uh, OG Xbox. Yeah. yeah, I remember Game Crazy. Yep. So, um, so. The, the, Funko Land dirt. Oh, in, inform- <laughs> Hell yeah, I remember Funko Land. So that there's some information good. said that Joe Stanton he stopped Microsoft from delaying Halo Infinite again, and he also conducted external testing for the campaign after 343 leadership failed to conduct any. The campaign was already 90% completed when 343 brought in Staten to lead the development team, so there wasn't much that could be done with his efforts. Yeah. As far as what I understand what happened, there were no testing, there were nothing, the game was in a bad state, Joe came in, he wanted... I mean, Halo Infinite just had a rough rough development, and that's it. I'm surprised that how good... I'm surprised at how good the, the product ended up being ended up, at the yeah. end of the day, with all the trouble, so if Again, if the worst 343 can do, it's Halo Infinite and Halo 5, and that's what we got, I'm still amazed. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I think the next Halo campaign going to be fire because it seemed like they were too too ambitious with Halo Infinite, it seemed like. And they, it seemed like it just I, wasn't I think working. they really didn't even know what they wanted at the end. Yeah. But I, I believe in, in PR hints. I really believe in that guy. Oh, that hell guy. yeah. He really looks like a dude that he's not like a mess around kind of guy. He's, yeah, he looks like a fat foot assassin here, y'all. Yeah, man. What's up, Ray Ray? What up, Ray? Oh, yeah, man. I, 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 look, Halo is Halo. It's never going to die. I will always love it, no matter the product yeah. they come out with. So I'm good. Oh, yeah. Except the show. Except the Thanks. show. The show can go. Oh, on, Joey. Damn, Joey. Jo- hey, uh, I, I was going to say, I was thinking about this earlier when Joey went on his rant about Halo. You can't, and I, we said this a couple weeks ago. I know Joey was in the audience when we said it. You cannot make the Halo community happy, no matter what they no, do. No, you they, can't. <laughs> that's the <that's> facts. <laughs> They are so divided already. Yeah, never can make them happy, bro. It, never it's, the make same, happy. it's the same thing with Call of Duty fans, like the super Call of Duty like fans. WWE fans are, are also. WWE yeah. are the same yeah. thing. WWE yeah. fans, they exactly. never happy, bro, no matter what. Well, re- recently, exactly. they have been doing pretty well in wrestling, so I can't really complain much in WWE. Yeah. But <laughs> they're still fans right. of mad. They're still fans are mad at that. Something like, yes. in the, you know, it just, it just you can't make them, it can't make everybody happy. So I, I just, like it's so like oh you know, Ray, like some love that the rock came back, and some mm-hmm. are like, Why they bring it back to old stars? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's like it's Cody time. It yeah, co- man, let I, Cody, I, let Cody I, finish I, his story. I, I don't I don't care what they say. I, I will always be happy when I see the Undertaker on the screen. Hell yeah, man. All them old yeah, yeah, anymore. <laughs> I wanted oh, to see Austin, Austin, man. Did you see it though? The Undertaker said he didn't know that he was doing that until to uh like Sunday. Yeah, no, I know and uh, don't and like um, Stone Cold was supposed to be in that spot. Yeah. They couldn't. I would have preferred Stone. I love Undertaker. I, yeah, I would have preferred Stone Cold, but they couldn't get the money right, man. I was like, damn. damn. I, would, I, get the money I would love right. to see him stun the Rock. Get the money right? Yeah, yeah because it's it's, right. in, it's on the Endeavor now. It's not Vince. Vince would have just th- threw the money, but it's on the yeah. Endeavor now. Yeah. So, man, that would have right. been better. 
Damn. That would have been bro. way better. That's true. I would love to see him slide in the rock. That would have been awesome. Awesome. Years, bro. That would have been, been crazy. Yeah. So um, it is official, Joey. Keanu Reeves is the voice of Shadow in Sonic Whoa. 3. Damn it, dirt. I don't I, I don't believe that. I do not believe that at all. And it said it's official, bro. He's the voice of Shadow. Yeah, now Keanu Reeves playing Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't, I don't wait, see hold that. on. I mean, I can Did you see Toy Story 5. No, like, I mean, you know, with, with that I mean, what is the Duke Dangerous, whatever her name is on the, on the movie. Uh what? Keanu Reeves was a voice of one of the toys of Toy Story 5, if I'm not mistaken. He killed it. Yeah, that, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. He was, he was. I forgot about that. <laughs> so and, like well, don't forget cool, about man. Cyberpunk, man. But like he was kind of himself in Cyberpunk. Hey, that was dope though. Like, yeah. So I mean, what did I mean? It's not like we know what Shadow voice is gonna be anyway. So just I told you, we do new Shadow. He's gonna be like, whoa. You can be darkness. <laughs> Come over here. You go, hey, you Joey. Yeah, nah, imagine, not, not, you imagine nah, Shadow like, saying the N-word. Come over here. Nah, Come you over think, nah, you, hey, you yo, Sonic. You think of the <laughs> you think of the, the Shadow the Hedgehog game Shadow, not the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Shadow. That's what you're thinking of. Uh, look, let me do the voice, nigga. Shadow be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey Sonic, where that bitch Amy is. Hey Dirk, hey, you should do some hey, like voice over here, uh, uh like videos. That should be funny as hell. Oh hey. <laughs> Who am you? <laughs> hey, so Rise of the Ronin, uh, free download is available for PlayStation gamers for Where's seventeen thousand. Where's RB button? For listen, uh, Joey, for seventeen thousand <laughs> PlayStation Stars loyalty program. Where, what the fuck is that, Dirt? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's their reward the program. It means buying a lot of shit on the PS Store. That's all it means, yeah. Where's the button, RB? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Joey want me to press number. the button, y'all. <laughs> don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> God damn. Hey, so um, Crash Bandicoot 4 oh. apparently sold 5 million copies. That's dope, mm, bro. Surprise. Yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's a good I'm number. I'm telling you, that gang, right. listen to me. You know, Dirk Griggity would never steer you guys wrong. Sonic the Head, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot 4 was fire. Stories for Bob proved to me that they can make a hell of a platform. That game was dope and it had enough challenge to it and everything. That was a dope ass game. Is it still on Spring Sale? I might buy it now. I'm telling you, it's a good game, man. I'm not lying to you, bro. I'm still I'm waiting for it to drop. Hey, the game uh, pass. Yeah, yeah, that's what's holding me back. It's game pass. It, it's definitely going to be game pass. Game pass. Like, no, hey. I buy it like I did with Diablo. I bought it. Then they announced it on Game Pass. Yeah, like, oh. trust me, it's gonna be in Game <laughs> well, Pass. Nah, Diablo was a day one purchase, but uh, like all the other like Activision games, Spyro and and Crash, I was like, oh, I'll wait till they drop in Game Pass. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 yeah. The How much do they keep doing these sales though? They keep doing these sales. Yeah. These yeah. sales have been <laughs> happening for like the last six months. Yeah. I'm still uh, on. Closed no, down still uh, on, Vicarious it's Vision. Still on right now. I bought a lot of COD games on their sales, bro. Like <sighs> like COD games from the three sixty generation. I bought a lot of. Oh, them. okay. Mm-hmm. I thought you said something else. Um, what? Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's you. Call um, of Duty, Ray Ray. Uh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> right I, now, I, am, I, am I am I am I the only one that that's not fully hyped for Call of Duty games anymore? No, I'm even more hyped, you know, because I'm a bot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but how much did Final Fan? Hey, how much did Final Fantasy sell? What four million or five? Barely two million. Oh, oh it was like two something. Oh, yeah, it was about two million, right? And yeah, got Barely crack, crush out sold it. Oh, okay. Just wait, you, wait, oh, oh, wait, we talk about well, lifetime. Just, that's lifetime. We talking though. about the rebirth, right? Yeah, we talking about rebirth. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why. Like, like, you telling me he only sold two million? Two. Yo, but that's li- that's million. a lifetime though. We can't. We can't. Yeah, but it's only been a couple of months. Hey, shut up, Joey. <laughs> uh, man. You can't be, you can't be like the ponies, you know, okay. liars and, and things. Okay, I'm not a lot. I'm just so, point out on so, the facts. Um, <laughs> job listing confirms that EA's Black Panther, Black Panther, is open world. Ooh, hmm. Nin- what, ni- 1943. I don't know when was Black Panther. No, nah, that was that was that was the other game. That wasn't that was that was like uh, so oh yeah, what other so game. what no so what uh, they have another Black, Black Panther, Panther game? game. Yeah, they got his, his own yep. Black Panther game. That's one with one and Captain America. That's the one he's talking about, I think. Yeah. I wonder which one's gonna be made What's, with uh, Sweeping uh, Sun or what is that game called? This is not no, rival. Think, that was not rival. Was, hold on, wait. So EA was making the other one with like Captain America. I don't remember there's another one. I know there's I think one there's another one. Captain America. Yeah, that's Marvel 1943. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are two different that. games. Nah, yeah. a lot of these superhero games, I'm not hyped no more. 
Yeah, bro. I, I think the whole superhero thing is like kind of because that because after the Suicide bit. Squad, actually, no, after Spider Man Two, that's when it went downhill for me. It's it's it it's, 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 it's kind of dead without it, Batman being Batman. around anymore. Yeah, yeah. The Arkham series. That thing died with me, back. like with Arkham Knight. That's it for me. Like, yeah, oh, man. man. That Black was such a good game, too, Black though. Black I Black wish you had you, X Men Origins. Hold on, hold on. Let's give props to Guardians of the Galaxy. That game was actually That game was dope. dope. That was a good game. You know what? I don't really like clarify that the same, though. I, I don't know. That's just me. Like, I'm not putting that in there, like, next to Batman. No. Not yeah. As far as, like, a superhero type game, like, that just felt like, like a normal action game. Yeah. But, it but did. But anyway, it did. congratulations on your game, Dirk. Congratulations. I, that ain't me, Joy, you asshole. Hey, uh, hey I, you can try the voice actor. I, I seen yeah. uh Frizzle in the chat. He made a good point. He said Paul World outsold um Final Fantasy. Everything. Well, I mean, yeah, Paul everything. Outsold everything. Yeah, nah, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Still got my Power World. Yep. So. Hey, fellas, check this out. Over two million players have pre-registered in two days for World of Warcraft Chinese servers. That is oh yeah, they're hype over there. Like they're oh, bringing yeah. the servers oh, back, uh, Blizzard the servers. How long? Like how long? It's been a couple blocked? years. Like they're, it's they're been a couple years. Blocked. I don't know. Years? It has to be more than a year, though. It has to no, be. it was it was more than it was like a uh, when they first announced the ABK deal. That's when they closed down over there. It's oh, been a couple of years. Okay. Damn, so it's been a couple years then. So they, yeah, hide. they had like a, a going away party, uh, you know, <coughs> like the last day the servers were on, so everybody was on trying to. Oh, wow, but you, you imagine how messed up that is that you invested so much in your, your account and everything, your they take it away really from you. The, the government you. takes it away from you because all that thing has to do with the government. And I imagine, like, hey, we're bringing it back. Oh man, people, they're hype over there. Wow, so it was 22. Thank you guys, that's why I appreciate you guys. Y'all be having y'all be knowing stuff, I don't be knowing. Hey, so several uh, devs left Playground Games, but it's, it's not confirmed if they were. Dude, it, nobody. We gotta, we gotta, st we, mm. we gotta start treating these developer studios like they're some kind of like they're above everybody else's job. <laughs> yeah, like everybody angry. leaves. Everybody gets fired. Everybody gets suspended. Everybody gets late at work. Everybody see, gets something. Yeah, this is the thing though. A memo. See, this is the thing it. though. It's a like somebody job. left a see like the thing like somebody left a comment saying if they're contractors when their term is up. It's over. When the job they leave, they leave. It's so over. they might be contractors or or not. I'm not sure, but yeah, uh, several seven of them left. It, it happens at every job. <laughs> exactly. But, so we got to stop like I don't evangelizing these things with these. It's guys. not like, us. Who? It's the ponies that keep putting in the spotlight. The ponies, bro. The ponies be starting. Yeah. They, they started all this shit over the years. Every time somebody left left an Xbox studio, oh, what's going on over there? Yeah, get, somebody don't, left. Don't, you don't, 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 don't get toys. Uh, uh, like, you can't even you can't even blame the ponies. These stupid trash ass writers and like. Well, well, Jeremy, why, why is that a story? Why is that yeah, a story? Those are po right. no ponies also. Right. So why is there an the guy got fired on a contract? I always wondered. I would say it is mainly pushed by the by the by the gaming journalists. Yeah, it is. These people aren't journalists. They're biased. They very biased. Have their jobs. I like, sometimes I wonder. Maybe the guy got fired because he was stealing everybody's lunch in the fridge. And that's why he got fired. <laughs> but no, now it's in an article at Doom and Gloom. Come on, stop it. This is just that, regular human beings with a job. That's, that's it, it, man. And that's it. what. That's why every time I, I make me a new gaming video, I talk about gaming journalism. I always put in the caption: "Gaming journalism is a joke." I put mm -hmm. there on the title, highlight it. I want everybody to know that. I'm talking. I think that's one of the type of uh, jobs that you have to try to hide your bias because people go to you, they depend on you for unbiased information. And that's what I know we all you know. have a preference, but you should definitely try to hide your bias when you're at, at a job like that or like movie reviews or something like that. You know, wait, don't, don't, that, that, don't get dirt. If they, they don't do that, how can they get their free games? Yeah, that's, a good dirt, that's what I'm saying, though. It's like that's what pisses <laughs> oh, me off about gaming journalism nowadays is that they don't hide the bias they it's yeah. a bias and every, yeah, they don't every article. Yeah, they don't every, everything like, is sensationalized how, and how, how sensational. are they getting away with this shit yeah i don't know uh, yeah, let's move yeah, on y'all and no i don't, don't steal people's breakfast from the yeah. fridge bob Mc, Mc, mcabee whatever your name they took hey, the cream soda so, i don't even work the morning shift I work <laughs> hey dad hey, let me ask you a question man i will answer that question because it's all about praising the Bigger platform that's more popular, or the more popular platform. That's what it's all about. Hey, you know it's what? I'm gonna, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this last thing, and then we're gonna move on. Um, Blaze Wright is absolutely right. Because listen, we talk about Xbox tax and all that stuff, and that is 100 percent true. 
Mm-hmm. But they love the 360, though. Yes, they did. They love. Hey, listen. They love the 360. You know why? Because it was because the PS3 the was dog the PS3 was dog shit, and the 360 was a more popular <laughs> platform, especially in the states. And don't, so I do well, agree. It's about what's it was a great console. And yeah, don't and I, don't forget, Halo Three is still one of the most highest uh, sold games on the Xbox. Hey, oh yeah. Hey, I dirt. I got I got a theory about that because when the 360 out, it was way more publications back then magazines and all types of things mm-hmm. now a lot of those those guys are gone they yeah. in different fields they do different yeah. things they're behind the scenes and and a lot of these are younger people that grew up in the in, in that little pit PS- in the playstation era yeah, so that yeah. so i think that's more to do with it than it was a 360 thing but a lot of those dudes are gone like we had like the script I think it was the Scrutoid and game trailers and all types of other stuff. Yeah, 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 dude. I remember yeah. stuff like Nintendo Power, and then we had X Play. <laughs> X Play was the shit. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, y'all just move on. Hey man, so this is like some bad news for like digital owners, like guys that's pro digital, anti physical. Ubisoft reportedly yeah. revoking the crew from owners' libraries following uh, server shutdown. That's jacked up. Okay, okay, hold on. I, 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 I've been on this for almost like six months. The crew, you can't play it. You can't play it. Even if you got it, you can have the dish right now. You can't play it. That's it crazy, goes, bro. Because it, 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 it was a server-based game, right? Yeah. You told when they announced last year that they were going to shut it down, the crew won. Not the newest one, but crew won. And, no, right. and nobody went back and played it. <clears throat> But now they realize that they can't play it at all because they sit and they had a little going. It, it's like the thirty first last month they ended it. So the nobody. Hey, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Me, I, 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 just I, 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 hey, yo, OG newbie in the chat. They don't might give out. <laughs> <laughs> but and, was, but, but was, to be honest, that, with with, serv- with servers though, like that might be a good thing with that game preservation thing that Sir Bond got going. You know what really scares me, yeah. Ray Ray? You know what really yeah. scares me, Ray Ray? What's up? The beginning of Fallout show, all the bombs dropped, and I'm like, Pat, I'm like, they have no bombs. I'm like, how can I turn on my console if the hey. servers are in the states? I can't play Xbox no more. That's a mess up. Well, hold your thumb. Hey, hold <laughs> your thumb up. <laughs> hey, hold your thumb up to see as big as the bomb, so you'll be okay. <laughs> hold your thumb up. Hold on. Is it your thumb or mine? <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Hey, so uh, UK uh. video game retailer game. Which has more than 240 stores across the country is laying off in store staff below manager level. Yeah, so it's telling you like stores like Game and, and like GameStop here in the states they're struggling, bro. Because everything hey, is hey, digital. GameStop now. is yeah, struggling for nobody me. gives a game. Now. I think Game is pretty much like just like GameStop. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. is just like GameStop. Yeah. Hit the I'll button. be pissed if GameStop went away because that's how I acquired my Series X in the first place. Hey, you better get nah, you know, like nah, man. Best Amazon, buy your Amazon. <laughs> Amazon take it over, man. That that's why I bought my Xbox Series, man. I got yeah. I got mine from Walmart dirt. Yep, I got mine from Microsoft actually. Um Off hey, so store? Stellar Blade yes. demo. I got mine from Somalian Pirate. That's what I got mine. Hey y'all, so <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Stellar Blade demo actually has uh more <laughs> active players. Than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, <laughs> we know the reason why. We already know the reason why. Yeah, <laughs> that's not even front of yeah. the boot. The booty cheeks look nice. I ain't gonna uh, lie, man. I don't know, man. Hey, Activision Blizzard. Um, the next game to be added to Game Pass may be Spiral Re- Reignited. Re- yeah, the Reignited. Yeah, the Reignited. Yeah, trilogy. Reignited. Yeah, trilogy. I've never been a Spiral guy. I'm more of a Crash guy. But since yeah. I'm a bot. I'm gonna give it a chance. I've been I've been bought that a while ago, but it's yeah. good. It's good. Hey, so apparently they're supposed to be working on a live action rated R Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. The yeah, last Ronin. the last Ronin. Yeah, because yeah. if you if you uh, if you look at the comic, you would see how dark that comic is. And that's Michelangelo, right? Because last time I thought it was Raphael. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 it's Michelangelo. It's Michelangelo. Yeah. Stop the spoilers, with the motherfucker! Come on, man. People, man, don't nobody already know bad, that. My bad, my bad. No, no not, not, I have, I have no clue what y'all no. talking about yeah. right now. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, not well, it's, it's splinter then. Not even everybody knows that the TMT, <laughs> the TMT is a comic. Nobody knows that. Not everybody knows. Bro, that. I know that, but I'm uh, talking about like who's the the last one. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Hold yeah, on, Joy, the Ninja Turtle died. Oh my God! No, I'd say that that came out of your mouth. All right, let's let's move on, man. It's, it's our Joey well, Fall. Hey, so check this out. You know, this is something I love about Xbox. Fallout Four upgrades are coming. 
to Xbox Series X and S and PS5 on April 25th. For free. Performance mode and quality free, modes. Yeah. Increased resolution and 60 FPS. Stability improvement and fixes for PC widescreen support. Varying free creation club items. And guess how much it costs, y'all? Zero dollars. Free nine zero. Nine. Three ninety nine. They're not, the, not going to charge you seven dollars and put a remaster on the damn uh, box. <laughs> see that we say different language, but you got to pay for it, dirt. Yeah, this is yeah. one thing I, I don't get about ponies. They they are happy about paying seventy or even eighty dollars for an upgrade that you the, they could have did it's, for free. It's the bragging rights that they have money. Yeah, it's a bragging rights. They don't even buy it it's anyway. Stupid. It's some stupid ass bragging rights, like it is. It is. How's, how's that a bragging like, right? If, if, oh, if you have less money willing, than me? Okay. Yeah, Best Boss is willing to give us the game with better graphics with just an update. What the hell is is, is Sony's excuse? It's obvious a, a blatant cash grab, but y'all are so. But ponies yeah, love it though, bro. Yeah, these, yeah, these ponies are, are so in tune with with the console okay. wars and yeah, kissing they, ass, they, like they don't get it. They I, even I take know, the know. notion of paying more money because they can as a W for some reason, like. Hey. I got, I, I got, I, I, got a PC. I, don't give a, I got a PC. I don't give a shit. They, they joke. say they got I more them. money. I missed the beginning of the show. Did y'all talk about your bar? No, uh, not, nah, not really. Okay. I don't really care too much. And if he's out of his damn mind, yeah. Okay. All right. So, sources tell whoever where I got this from that EA is planning to announce a new Fight Night game. I don't know oh, how true shit. it is, but that'll be pretty dope. I saw. That. I haven't heard that because the last one was fired, by the way. Man, I he, saw that, and I'm still asking myself what happened to the other boxing game that was supposed to come. Somebody, out of, I don't know. No, no. I was playing. I don't know. Oh, the bro. East. Man, I, I, uh, okay, nah, I got. Nah, man, I got sore. I got sources, so I could tell you exactly oh, what happened oh. to both of them, right? Nah, man. EA needs oh, to hurry up and uh, remaster a Def Jam oh, fight oh, for New York already. Ray Ray with okay, now nah, you, uh, you, nah, you, you go to wrong, the wrong direction, man. Ray Ray with the exclusive. Go ahead, drop it, bro. Right, right, the right, right. the last the, the fight they were making Fight Night right they got a contract with UFC so they put Fight Night on hold and they went to make uh, UFC five so they mm -hmm. are working they they have a little smaller team that's working on Fight Night but that might not come out the next generation the next game is probably gonna be another UFC game okay uh, uh, now hey, the other boxing no. game the one that me and Sean play they they are in, it's still in early assets on uh, PC. But they have switched their whole development team to working on con the, the console port right now. Hmm. So that's like a next year game. Okay, well, okay. at least it'd be good if it still come up. Hey, yo, Blaze, right? What's so up? They making a remake of Def Jam Fight for New York? No, remaster. No, re uh, no remaster. remaster. I, 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 I that's that's still remaster. too hard, man. It's license, all them bro. real people in there. They may have the license. All them people. And some of them dead. Like Def Jam is dead. No. Yeah, some of them dead. Yeah. yeah. And the, who has the, the estate? Who owns his name? That's yeah, bro. It's like it's gonna be a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, I got, I got you. That's too much money, man. That's too much money to do that. And also some of the EA is is a multi billion dollar company. I'm pretty sure they got it. Might as well make a new one from scratch and buy the new licenses. But with who though? All these. Uh, you, yeah, hold on, hold on, man. You could do one with um, uh, Twenty One Savage. You could, you got okay, uh, okay. That's they they can't fight. That's one. Fight that's one. But, Back in the day, we thought that they, it made it look like they can actually fight in real life. Now we know they can't actually fight in real life. I know. <laughs> that's all. You gotta be the old school. Like, like, think about it. Who, who they gonna bring in? Little Uzi Vert. Little pump? <laughs> no, no, no. They still had a, the old rappers in there, like Snoop Dogg and Method Man and Red Man and Busta Rhymes. They still yeah, had them. Yeah. Fifty Cent put Fifty Cent in there. Uh, uh, but, 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 but Sparks is one. What's one? Nah, of they, me. nah. They, they they should put J Cole hey. and Kendrick in it though. That'd be J funny Cole, as hell. Kendrick, yeah. Drake. Hey, but we got they got NCAA coming out in with uh, July. So yeah, that's coming. out. We see how that does. Um. So like we we talked about this earlier, but Foam Stars <laughs> has lost nearly ninety five percent of his player base. That's <laughs> PlayStation fans' fault. I'm sorry. What's 95 yeah. percent of one? Anybody else? I didn't even What's download that. Yeah, you said it was 95 percent of one. <laughs> <laughs> Jabari was the only one playing that dumbass game. Oh man, was no, he? he That's the question. Whoa, he wasn't. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I was not downloading that for two rip-offs. Uh, don't question that man integrity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, so uh, Ascendant Studios has reportedly furlonged majority of its staff. That's the, the team that made the Immortals of Avium. 
Oh, the studio has allegedly let go of nearly 30 of its staff that remained after it lay off, its layoffs in August 2023. Told you, man, now, but nowadays, if a game flops, a triple A game flops, that studio might might not make it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said this last week on, on Dark Man. People should really, if you love gaming, people should appreciate Microsoft being in the gaming industry. Yep. Yeah, because knowing if Sony was if Sony was if it was just Sony and Nintendo, they'd be charging buku dollars, and we'd have another crash. Yep, and exactly. No game, game, pa- game pass. So it's just, it's a it's one of those things they need to start appreciating, but you know they not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all heard that Sony is trying Look, to is trying to become more like Game Pass now, right? When That's Nintendo like can sell a copy of a game that's seven years old for still sixty bucks, there's a problem with that. I agree, yeah, bro. There is Nintendo get away, man. I I just Nintendo feel like away with so much, bro. Now, as much as much as pe- people rag on Nintendo, at least they stay in their lane. They mainly making double A games. They they're not really making anything. Yeah, simple. they do. Yeah, yeah but ev- everything well, double depreci- A cost seventy bucks now. You know what I'm like? Double A with triple A pricing. Look at what's going on here, then. Everything <laughs> depreciates with time, except Nintendo games. I mean, right. except, even I mean, they digital games. I still 70 bucks, 60 bucks. I'm not paying $70 for a site bike. That's just not happening. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I get it. I, I get I get the point where you're coming from, but you know, they sales are still in the 15 to 20 million. So I can say, you know, congratulations on that one for I, I, you know I it's just, just a casual gamer bike. in the rapid Nintendo. Bro, fan. bro, Animal Crossing looks like it costs them like a hundred thousand max. Bro, Animal Crossing, 50 million. Animal Crossing 50 million. Animal Crossing costs 89,000 to, to make. And, and it sold 40 million copies at 60 bucks, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's, that's crazy. I, I was and, don't, and, 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 don't, and don't forget, there are uh, some double A games on PC that are like 50, 60, 70 dollars. So I will say, say that. Yeah. Man, All right, guys, let's move on. We got a few bus. more before we get out of here. Um, you know, we're talking about games that uh didn't sell well. I'm surprised that Dead Space remake didn't sell well, bro. So Jeff Grubb said the EA Motive was working on Dead Space Two, but it was but it got canceled. Dead Space Two remake, but it got canceled. I'm surprised I, that damn no, remake was fire, but I guess it just didn't it, sell well, it's, man. It's no, apparently that's false because the uh, they are talking about still continuing making a Dead Space Two remake. So I, I heard that was false. Yeah, that's but but that shit ain't false. All, all I can say is good. it's a horror game, guys. Like. Yeah, horror games. Resident like Evil is like the biggest horror game out there, and it barely scratches six to seven million. It's like yeah. five, always five. So yeah, horror games are not for everybody, right? But, but Resident Evil, I think Capcom is smarter with Resident Evil because you can beat those games in an hour or two hours, may, maybe. So Joy. those are like smaller triple A games. No, so. no, Joy, let me no, ask you this. So are no, you no, saying no, no. you you can beat Resident Evil one, two? Three like an hour. We're not talking speed run. At least talking speed run. We're not talking. No, you can actually do. I have. I beat Resident Evil two like in in barely two hours. No, I'm I'm not. No, I'm not talking about those those games though. On from the PS one, PS PS two. I'm talking about. Oh, I'm talking about the remakes. Yes, sir. Not Resident Evil four though. Not not the Resident Resident Evil Evil four. The fastest you can do is like three. I call bullshit. (laughs) I call bullshit. (laughs) No, go ahead and look for it. (laughs) <laughs> we talking about speed runs though, Joe. I'm ta- I'm, I'm no, you can actually beat it. Nah, once you get, like, get all the when you get all Obviously the weapons and you got like everything, you can beat that thing like nothing. Yeah. No, nah, I call bull- no. Nah, unless it's a glitch, I call bullshit. If you Resident got Evil the, eight, if Resident you Evil eight, 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 it's a Resident Evil eight is a fantastic game. Village, you can beat that game in like in five hours. Like, yeah, five not, hours. So th- that's why it's a budgeted game. Capcom is smart in that part. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Resident Evil is costing them that much to make. You're bro, you're gonna get more and more games at a that's like shorter. I guarantee it. You're gonna see and that's fine. I got no time for that shit. That's fine too. That's fine. We too. should. I want I want games that are not fucking 40 hours long. Yeah, every game does not have to be 40 hours or longer, bro. Dude, I, I, I want this open 20, world game. These open the world games hours. where yeah. you gotta do fetch semi 20 hours, fuck eight to 12 hours, and I'm so good. need 120. I'm gonna tell you what was perfect length to me. Um, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. That, it was about the 15 hours. It, it, it and it was good. <laughs> like from 15 to 25, I feel like that's the sweet spot, bro. Because that damn Valhalla, bro. I put 180 hours <laughs> into that game. It was crazy. I'm still not finished with that damn game. Okay. It was good. Uh, hey, jo- just knowing how long the game is. Hey Joey, yeah. uh, Black Mamba said two hours when infinite ammo don't count. 
Uh, <laughs> without <laughs> infinite, they without well, that's two hours with infinite ammo. I didn't have infinite ammo when I beat it in barely three. Receiving Ooh, <laughs> the <laughs> plot thickens. <laughs> yeah, so there's people yeah, out there. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah that's, man, that's man, we thing. already, hey, yo, Yobi, man, we already, we already talked about Shadow, um, Keanu Reeves joint. So, Electronic Arts is raising the price of its EA Play subscription. I don't think nobody cares. Physical video game software spending has declined each year since 2019. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad for physical. Uh, oh, well, Bungie I mean, possibly developing so. Destiny 3. Nobody gives a damn. Well, Pre-production well. for the next Halo game started in January 2022. Okay. So apparently they're a couple years into it. Two years. Possibly so, like development, so, who, so who knows? So, main, so like the main development started, they said, in 2023. So it might come out this year. Who knows? <laughs> That'll be what? one year. That'd be crazy. No, no. <laughs> might come out the uh, beginning of the next gen Xbox. Could be, man. Could be. Um, so uh WrestleMania 40 is the most stream entertainment event ever on Peacock. I believe it. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, don't have, talking about it. I don't have Peacock over here, so I had to subscribe to the WD network that still works. Oh, mm. that's cool. Yeah, I, I kind of fell asleep on it. Got it worked the next so, morning. So, do you guys remember when, when me and Joy, I, I I think it was me and you, Joy, when they were showing that Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake, and I was like, yo, it looks like trash. He was like, yeah, hey, I don't care. I don't care. Bro, they're totally rebooting the whole thing. <laughs> I know. I pre-ordered that so motherfucker. I, I remember pre-ordering that game because I really love the first Sands of Times and oh, the World Within it. and the and love the Two it. Thrones. I love that trilogy. And that I had to pre-order it. Fire, and then I saw bro. the email. I saw the freaking email. Like, listen, a that has been the idea. Joy was fire though. Sands of Times, The Warrior Within. Then what was the other one? The uh, whatever it was. That trilogy was fire, bro. Great was trilogy. That, mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember when they had God smack in the uh promotion for oh, Warrior yeah. Within. When you had the, the Haga chasing you, man. I, when you hear that no, music, you're like, those are some shit, fire man? games. That was just some fire games. And I, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Citizen Sleeper Dev says Xbox Game Pass is keeping a lot of indie studios going. Yep. Shout out to Xbox Game Pass, man. They care about gaming. Yep, right. but yep, but they're not gonna get credit for it. But no, nope, they don't get credit for it, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm pretty sure they already know this, oh, which is why, which is why they're still doing what they're doing. Yep. They, no, they know that I don't think they're looking for credit, but what I'm saying is not, the, the not loud the, minority the loud minority is not giving them any credit. No, nah, but right. think about no, nah, but think about it like this though, in, in a more realistic uh, standpoint. The best person in the that's doing the work doesn't take doesn't need all that all that credibility. They just do it just to do it, and then it'll they'll see the success come and which we're seeing that success come. Even even with all the all the BS that's coming with the ponies and shit like that. Saying like Game Pass will eventually be the quote unquote death of gaming. We see like Game Pass is still growing exponentially, even if it's by slowly, it's still growing bit by bit. Yeah, absolutely, bro. And I think once Kai get in there, it's gonna grow a little bit more. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Definitely. Um, so he put think- another studio on Battlefield, bro. Man. Battlefield, Battlefield, I don't know, bro. Battlefield, Battlefield better hits. Well, My favorite Battlefield was uh Battlefield 4 and 3. Oh, what was the three, one that company two. Xbox that one company and, 2 was fire. Yes, well, was that 3 or 4? That four. was 4, wasn't it? That one was fire. Was, uh, the one that I mean, led that to uh, with Xbox Levolution. Three. Xbox one was Battlefield 4. Yeah, that was that one was fire. So so I agree with you Dark Child. That campaign was dope. I, I feel like they have to concentrate on making a good campaign with characters that we care about. Yeah. Call of Duty has has these guys from from, Price, from uh, Black Ops and Price and Ghost, so we we at least know the characters. Battlefield, we're oh. like we don't know none of them POSs. So they better start doing something. Yeah, but Battlefield Four campaign like was fire, bro. I remember Anyways. Battlefield Four was the first game that started the Resolution War, bro. I remember <laughs> Digital Foundry was like they were kind of new. And they did a video was saying how Battlefield 4 was 720p on the Xbox. It was 1080p on the PS4. But, the, but nobody. Remember, but you remember, though, that the Xbox version was running 60 better than the PlayStation 4 version. That might have been the case, but they ignored that. It, 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 yeah, so it, it was wasn't about, about frames resolution. yet. It was about resolution, bro. I remember that because I remember like, damn. So I guess the Xbox One is weaker. Than the PS4, and I remember looking in the comment section because I had just found this community not too long before that. 
I, I was living in conversation. They was destroying the Xbox. Oh, it's a it's hundred dollars more it's week. Blah blah blah. I remember Battlefield Four was the first game that I that I seen that they really compared and said the PS4 version was better. And people was killing Xbox One. But you know I what still, I remember about Battlefield Four? Turning what? that bitch up and looking at the game, you're like, "Yo, this looks amazing." It looks amazing. It. Right. I, I didn't did care now. what I was afraid. Yeah. I played like, it like last year. Brace on there and blurry though, bro. Now uh, it's so blurry now because they didn't update it. It looks well, terrible. Like the graphics are still good, but it's blurry as hell. I'm yeah, probably. 1080p makes you a better game. I do remember that. Hell yeah, I still got the receipt of that, bro. Damn. That's still the best Battlefield <laughs> game to me. Was Battlefield Bad Company two? That game was fire. yeah. No, that was comedy. That, that was comedy. That was one of the that best was comedy. comedy. Yeah, but that's when I was comedy. Right, that was funny. Yeah. But I, I still got a receipt of that if y'all believe me. But I know y'all believe me. But anyway, all right, got one more man. Let's go and get out of here. Um, Saber Interactive CEO Matthew Karch believes that with games becoming more expensive to make, the seventy dollar title is going to go away of the dodo. I just think it's. I don't think it's sustainable. He's saying games are going to cost. I, more. I don't. I don't think they're one to talk. They're trash. Well, well, is, is, is he saying the fire, it, if you guys remember the uh, leaks that happened with the Asomniac leaks, they was planning on making games eighty to hundred dollars. Uh, that's did, like yeah, the, re- the regular thing now, because apparently the seventy dollars games was enough. They want to be more greedy with it, and make them eighty to hundred dollars, especially with the with the Spider Man. I might come leaks. next end, though, bro. I swear. Dirt, the, dirt. Po- the ponies gonna have that. I'm not. I'm not buying that bullshit. Dirt. The whole I thing see. is with Saber is like they they charge people seventy dollars for a, a live service game that they cut off in like a year, and they're trying to get good graces with this bullshit. Like, yeah, I, he's just blowing smoke. I, in my opinion. Hey, uh, so I, still I told y'all I keep receipts for years. I told y'all right. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> Shuhei Yoshida said this. Sony, native 1080p allows you to be a better gamer. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it was frame rate, not the resolution. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it wasn't about frame rates then. It's about frame rates now. But back yeah. then, it was about resolution, bro. Nah, it was lo- about, that's all it was about. Because every game was running like pretty much 30 anyway. I'm loving that these ponies are, are talking like PC gamers now because the PC gamers were, were the main one talking about frame rates. Yeah, exactly, bro. PC gamers was talking about frame rate. I'm telling you, T- he ain't saying nothing about 60. He said 1080p allows you to be a better game. Y'all know Dirk Grigley, your boy. <laughs> keep receipts, man. I keep receipts. And I'm a patient guy. When a guy do a video about me, I don't respond immediately. I just wait for the right time. <laughs> and just build up receipts, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, man, I believe that is it, man. Um, I, w- I wanted to go back in about the hundred dollar game thing. Mm-hmm. I still believe GTA 6 is gonna push that. <laughs> oh, shit. hey, hey, Louisiana was part of it's, it's, it's many in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I really do believe GTA, GTA 6 is gonna do some dumb shit and people are gonna buy it. And that this is why piracy is on the rise. Listen, <laughs> oh, GTA man. 6 can charge 80. That shit gonna still sell boatloads. <laughs> I know everybody, but, everybody's buying that. But 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 once you buy. but yeah, but uh, once somebody does it, everybody everybody's gonna do it. everybody's right. gonna start doing Joey, it. Un- unfortunately, you're and one not everybody right. deserves to do it. Yep, you're right. Mm. No, e- <laughs> like I said, I need buy EA, man. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 no! I'm not gonna go. Not. I'm not gonna go for another ordeal of four years fighting for my, the, the FTC. I'm not doing that. Shit. I said, oh, hell no, man! man I'm not even an, a lawyer. I'm not even a lawyer doing those receipts. That was so we annoying. Were all, man. And we were excited. We that were was all exhausted years. about that oh, shit. Nah, man. Oh, Jim, Jim Lord. Ryan crying. Oh, Microsoft is not <sighs> worrying about the impact of PlayStation gamers. Yeah, bro. That was that was that, that was two years. But I'm saying my and channel grew last year, bro. Hey, that ABK deal, my channel had hell of an engagement last year, bro. I'm telling you, that I, ABK deal. I, I ain't doing that again. No. Yeah, but it, it, it was crazy. Um, kids will remember for nine months. Funny how ponies all of a sudden don't care about graphics as soon as Hellblade 2 was revealed. Yes. Now they hope they they hope up, hype up PS3 games like Rise of Rona. Absolutely, man. You know, that game was seven, that's game is 720p. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that you got two on 360 looks better than that. Hey, don't. Hey, uh, 
Forget oh, what's, yeah. what's, what's, what's that one game? I forgot what, what that other game was. was see Spurrier, uh, no, no, not see not see Beast. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Joey, damn, damn force, for, forespoken, forespoken. That wasn't him running at, at the at the native 1080p. Yeah, the game looks like shit. That good. game, all right, guys, terrible. we about to get out of here, man. <laughs> Thank all you. All I so know, much. all I know is. Yeah, I, yeah. I know, but I want to say Carlos Ferro, the voice of Dom from Gears of War, he also tweeted that we're not ready. He did mm, tweet I, that. He did. I don't no, I'm like, I gotta see this. Like in my mind, Thank I'm ready. Sure. Maybe we're not ready. <laughs> we might not be ready. Yeah. We he did ready. tweet that. Hey y'all, uh, hair hero holla bully. Uh, I see what's the name of that game? Hero uh, Hollywood will come out tomorrow on Game Come Pass. out tomorrow. Yeah, game yes. Download that game. That game looks amazing. The craftsmanship alone on that game, it's all claymation, stop motion. <laughs> it should be supported, so I'm downloading it and playing it. Yep, so there he is. Um, Carlos Ferro. Ferro. Yeah, he said, y'all, you aren't ready. So, will they going to have Dom flashbacks or something? Oh, I don't know, man. Mm. I mean, he could be doing the voice vo- voiceover for the multiplayer because Dom is always in the multiplayer. True, though, true, but, right, true. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, if if he's just Uh-oh. doing that, <laughs> Reggie's coming along. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Joey, Joey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hey, fuck <laughs> Dom and his wife, Joey. Oh, hey, 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 prison rules now, Reggie. What's up? <laughs> Hey, Ray Ray, shut up, punk. Oh, really? I'm taller than hey, you. No, you hey, ain't. Oh, yeah, shit. I am. Hey, Ray, I'm, I'm, I'm five, five. I got you by two inches, punk. I know you. I'm not five, that. three. What are you I'm trying, trying to I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on right now. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Joey. I like your shirt. Well, thank you. You like somebody put some tricks in the blender and spit on that shit, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you brush my chest hair. That's what I'm going to make you do. Oh, man. Paul. All right, oh, y'all. Wow. It's time to get out of here, man. Oh, you guys. Wow. Let, me, <laughs> let me adjust this. Uh, let me adjust this <laughs> outro uh, timestamp. <laughs> Joey, what you got going on, man? Uh, video games, man. I want to play. I've been. I, I, I bought a bunch of games lately, and I, I don't know this card game, Bellatro, man. It's, it's addicting. Bro. Hey, Joey. Yeah, I, I, hey, I am playing Resident Evil Five on the PC, fourteen forty P, one hundred twenty. Uh, FPS lock. I'm having fun with that game. Yeah, it is. It's a good game. It's a, the only thing that it still has tank controls, but other than that, it's a fantastic game. Tank controls, bro. No, I, the one, I tried the to one. play the original, like Resident Evil 4. After I beat the remake, I went back to Resident Evil 4. Couldn't do it. What? All right. Dev, <laughs> Dev, what you got going on? I'm thinking of like buying that. Uh, they brought back that MOBA game. It's called uh, Gigantic. It's like I mean, Gigantic uh, Rampage oh. Edition. They brought that back. So I was thinking about trying that out, see if that game's fun still. Then it's been gone for some years. Was they put that it down. Gigantic. Hey, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, cool. Card decline, dirt. <laughs> All right, yeah. man. All right, so Dark Child, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, hey man, y'all becoming the regulars, man. Ray Ray, the five foot assassin, General Spartan, he here. <laughs> Uh, Blaze, right? Y'all becoming the regular. Uh, uh, do you give us your panels, man? Let's 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 go, man. Let's go. Yeah, the new scram punks. The new scram punks. Hey, don't ever, don't, don't ever put me in that trash. Don't ever put me. In that trash. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Don't you? How dare you?" Uh, all right, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate you guys. Uh, we'll see you this week. Listen, I I have my top five Xbox guys video ready to go. I might need to adjust it because I felt the PlayStation one was way better. Even though I did the Xbox one first. It's supposed to be better. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's that King Thrash, that bitch. I will, I, I will, I will comment for two seconds. Yeah. You did have, have the same dude, even though we all know he's fucking trash. Who? We, we like for two of those sections of selections, you had the same dude, which was. Yeah. Which was, yeah, what? Well, all that, all of them is the same dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to make it sound like it was different people, but they're all the same people. Uh, you had to yo, make it top there. five. Yeah, yeah, right, man, top top five, five, man. <laughs> hey, look, I'll be honest. I downloaded those videos before in the past, but it was my channel was way smaller, so I would get like two hundred some views <laughs> and see, you know, hey man, guys, get some traction with this video. But uh, 
anyway, peace out, y'all. We see you guys later this week. Shout yeah. out to Fallout for being part of the top played games on Game Pass right now. Man, that, I'm crazy, I'm, 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 I can take that show. But check the, episode lot, four. That's crazy, bro. Show is so right, good. One, peace out, two, everybody. Three, yeah, like button. Four, five, six, seven, X. My bad, Joey. What you talking? You in words next week, baby. <laughs> <laughs>